Hello and welcome once again to more VFL action in pro football and the game that we've been waiting some weeks for. A record crowd of almost 38,000 people packed the Sydney Cricket Ground to see Carlton take on the Sydney Swans. After round five, the Sydney Swans had had their best start to a season since 1945 and it was in that year they made it to the grand final but went down in a bloodbath to Carlton. Now they were looking to continue their winning run and make it six in a row. Many believed it was Carlton that could stop them. Let's now join that wonderfully big crowd at the Sydney Cricket Ground and I might add 98% of them barracking for the Sydney Swans. Our commentators are Peter Landy, Lou Richards and Bob Skilton and let's go for the opening bounce. First quarter of the all important Swans Carlton game from the SCG. Madden and Ironmonger, it's won by Ironmonger, Stevie Wright puts the Swans into attack initially up towards Mitchell at half forward, looks for the hand pass, they go forward through Edmund, a towering punt kick will result in the first score of the match and it's one point and that came up 19 seconds into the turn. So one point, kicked by the former Footscray skipper and we await Bruce Duell to bring the ball back into play. Duell from full back, Hunter underneath it, great judgment. Straight down the ground too with Bill Bob. Yes, no doubt. Uh, handball across now. Over to Johnston. Former skipper up towards the left centre wing, or left uh, half forward flank it is. Picked up by Kernahan. Look for the hand pass. Back to Johnston again on to Meldrum, who's having a great year. Meldrum shot at goal. Will go pretty close. It won't quite be a score at the back. Mark McClure. Then from, can we say, his hometown crowd. He came from Sydney originally. And Mark McClure will bring up the first goal of the match from only about three metres out. On replay now, we see McClure from behind, judge that one to perfection. And if he misses this one, he'll hang his head in shame, but he, he won't miss it. He'll sit on the wing coming home on the plane. I think he would. First goal of the match to Carlton at the 1 minute 20 mark of the first quarter. A great mark to the Carlton skipper, leading by example, Carlton by five points. What a fine play he's been uh, for Carlton, Mark McClure, Bob. Yes, he certainly has, Lou, and I'm just thinking of the tactic that Carlton used when they did bring that ball out as we watch the replay, Meldrum going forward now, but uh, with Bruce Dool coming out from full back, the uh, players led um, to both sides of the ground and down the ground, and then Ken Hunter ran like mad back up the ground. Carlton by five points, Mark McClure putting through the first goal of the match, Iron Munger and Madden, that's a line ball decision that one, no one getting it away from the centre, picked up by Bradley, the umpire's found a free kick, it's going to the Swans, and the recipient will be Paul Hawke at centre field. Pretty heavy in the centre of the ground there, the umpire throwing the ball up, Hawke in a bit of trouble, he finally gets a kick back over half forward for the Swans, but there we see Robertson in the way, and a pretty strong defence Carlton have got. Ball back now towards the centre half forward position, the pack fly, taken off the pack by Bradley, gets Johnson, not a good hand pass, Johnson's grab, umpire still calling play on McClure, goes down, there's a chance for right over, runs the ball, oh golly, uh, Black will cop one a bit high, but the umpire will ball it out there on the centre wing position, Carlton the one goal, six points, to the Swans one point only, into the quarter by uh, just on three minutes, that's the first, Right again has grabbed Johnson down, too but too high, and he'll get a free kick. Could be on for Young and Old here today before it's over. A little bit of tension, and of course the Swans undefeated. 15 metre penalty, Luke. Got the ball on the wing position across the centre half forward. Hunter in front, now he gets to the back, goes the tap out from Danaher. They pile on top of Danaher, that's Dern, uh, Dean grabbing him around the back of the neck, and the umpire will board it up. Back towards the uh, Swans centre half forward position. Ball up again. Ground much firmer there around that area. Tapped out by Matt. Not a good knockout. And the umpire once again will ball it up. Into this quarter now. Just on the three and a half minute mark. Carlton six points to the Swans. One behind only. Knocked out by Matt. Back it goes there. The umpire's found a free kick. It'll go to Matt. And against Einmunger. Got one too high on the shoulder. And he takes that free kick out there at half back. This is Justin Matt. Oh, he doesn't know where to go, he's going to lose this. Took too long, the big fella. Going through was Williams, he missed the ball. And there's round the neck that time to shine. And the umpire playing the uh, play-on rule there as uh, Hawke gets the ball back. Now this is Witzel with the ball out there at the wing position. Boots it high, up there towards R. Uh, Dorothy still he marked that one, punched away again by Edmund. Picked up by Dorothy again, little uh, 
Mitchell's there and so is Edmund. The ball is out of bounds about 30 metres around for the Swans' goal. The Swans are one point only to Carlton. One goal, six points. Boundary throw in in the Swans' right forward pocket. One by Madden. Picked up by Williams. Looks for a hand pass to Kappa. Dool playing in front though. Shoots the hand pass back into the pocket. Dean. Ashman. Long kick by the Carlton Rover up towards Iron Munger. Great grab. Picked up by Paul Morwood, but the umpire has blown the whistle. Iron Munger takes the kick. Gayus for the hand pass. Bringing it back again. Oh, he was behind the mark. No, he wasn't back behind the mark, Pete. I thought he was. Now he is. Gets the hand pass out. Taken by Dennis Carroll. Carroll's kick up towards uh, Matten at the back. Has he got that one? He has. Justin showing a little bit of aggro. Madden to centre wing. Paul Morwood almost took it. Bolton and Blackwell. Blackwell off the ground. Soccer's it straight out of bounds. So boundary throw it on the centre wing position. A little bit of feeling out there, Bob, at the and moment. There certainly isn't there? is, Lou. <laughs> Ironmonger. Had a great year last year before he was unfortunately injured over the top with the Carlton skipper, Mark McClure. Bernard Tui fumbles twice. Well, now he got a high one out there from Murphy. Now he picks it up okay, but the kick is only a short one. Back towards the centre field area, almost a mark. Spilt by Danaher. Chance on the centre wing position for right. In front is Dean. That could have been almost a holding the man uh, decision to Bayes. It is, and Bayes will take the free kick at the right half-forward flank for the Swans. And this guy is an excellent kick. I'm suggesting he'll score from there, but he should be able to put it pretty close to the 10-metre square. Kappa's got the sit. Can't take the mark. Duel. Kick is not a long one. Shine tries to barge through. Could be almost penalised. Into the goal square. Williams step shot. Goal! The Swans in front. I don't think there's any, any doubt about who the crowd was supporting, Lou. That's and, right. Uh, the minute that uh, ball left the boot of Williams, the, the ground just erupted. Uh, and uh, Greg Williams coming right down the ground. On replay, we see Morwood and Mitchell collide. He comes back. Shine loses possession. Mitchell's short kick coming in, and Williams very quick to swoop on the ball and an excellent goal. Sydney, Sydney is the chance. Williams' first goal for the Swans, and they lead by a point. Back to Williams again, over to Tui. Williams kicking their last goal. The Swans in front by a point. The ball over there, half forward on a real grand final atmosphere here now, and the ball is tapped out by Coleman comes out the right down there in the back pocket up towards Capo he's pretty well swamped there oh great mark to Tony Morwood that was a magnificent mark over the puck and list of this crowd and they're I would still coming in little, Luke I would say it's a little bit uh, one-eyed but still bit. that's the way it goes a magnificent mark by Tony Morwood got a chance to kick their second goal from about uh, five or six meters out Morwood comes in for his first goal I think he might have scraped that one and he has so they move on to two goals, 13 to Carlton, one goal, six points. It's a lovely mark by Tony Morwood. He's an excellent half forward. He's capable of taking marks with the best of them. And as we watch on replay, Stevie Wright hooked the ball forward and Morwood using every advantage that he had. Into this quarter by just on eight minutes and the Swans are in front by seven points. It'll be Madden against Einmunger, the two giants of uh, these sides. Knocked out by Einmunger, good one over to Mitchell. And the Swans go back into attack again. Dorothy's dropped that mark, he's got the ball in front of him. Goes a hand pass to Meldrum, in plenty of trouble. A long hand pass coming to Dean, but he got one from Dewey. But fair, the ball kicked off the ground now towards that uh, half forward line. Coming out to meet it is Aspen. Plenty of pressure on this game. As we see Aspen go for a short pass. And the big fella Kernahan's got it. And the Blues expecting a lot from him today. He could just about kick this. Well, he's on a pretty acute angle. And uh, he's about, well, let's see, 40 metres out from goal. Interesting move with Kernahan. He's actually in the forward pocket with Motley at full forward. Well, that pack fly. No one can take the mark. There's a free kick. It'll go to Carter. He was interfered with, of course, it yes, Carter to take the free kick down there at full back. So into the quarter by over eight and a half minutes. It's at seven points that it's Mitchell to take the free kick. Mitchell just up from the back pocket. To the centre wing position, Dean. Blackwell. Long hand ball into the open spaces for Johnston in pursuit is Bayes. Johnson flattened, down free kick downfield. Very silly, Mark Bayes. And that could cost a goal. Yes, inexperience really showing there, Pete. Uh, 
Martin Bays trying to put pressure on, but once Johnson had put the ball forward, it really was silly to do anything at all. I think Johnson slowed up expecting it too, Bob, to a certain degree, <laughs> don't you? Motley, whom Bob was speaking of just a few moments back, has the chance to bring up Carlton's second goal and make the difference one point. Motley directly in front and only 30 metres up. And the result is a goal, now it's a point. Much to the delight of, I guess, 95% of the crowd here. 1-1 plays 2-1. Seven's big league from the SCG. And the real finals atmosphere here, as we mentioned. Not Carter will bring the ball back into play. One of the real old-time full-backs, this fellow. And a very reliable one. Spiral punt kick underneath it is Tommy Alvin. At the back is Morwood. Johnson looking for a free kick. Should have got one. He's at left half-forward flank. Always a dangerous player and played Very well. slow to get it down. McClure was on his own for ages. Now he's gone for a pass. He'll look for Tommy Elvin and he's got him. Elvin at left half forward. A play on call from the umpire. Elvin's pass, not a particularly good one. Carter perhaps should have marked that one. In goes McClure for goal number two. Out of bounds on the full. And it will be a Swans free kick in the right back pocket to be taken by Roberts. Ian Roberts also having a great year. In front is Tui at the back is Shine. Picked up by Tui, hooks it high up towards the centre wing position. Alvin getting underneath it once more. But Hunter beaten for it by Danaher, and it will be a free kick. There's a fight behind play on the boundary line. Looks like Shine, I think. Yes, Shine, Shine Williams. Williams. And Shine has got the job of going everywhere that Williams goes, incidentally. McClure. Murphy. Fumbles. Can he get clear of Dennis Carroll? Here's a goal coming up, and Robertson puts it through. Make no mistake about that. It's, it's on again. The goal square. Well, Bob, this is what the Swans don't want to fall for. It's you, on right? in two places, actually. Yes. It's out on the half back line as well. Well, this could be the tactics of Carlton to upset the Swans because this is the biggest crowd they've ever played in front of, and they may be a little bit rattled. Let's take a replay of uh, well, the fight and the goal, or both. And McClure now puts the hand pass out. Murphy couldn't handle it cleanly early, but then Robinson and Robertson stud in the back pocket. He's going on and off the ball with Mitchell. Meldrum is going on and off the ball with Stevie Wright. Just on the 12-minute mark, scores dead level. 13 points apiece, knocked out by Einmunger. Rhodes grabbed, he lost that one. That's Williams going through, but he's tackled well that time by Johnson. Oh, oh Hunter got one right in the face, but he's got the ball out. This is Aspen now with a hand pass coming over to Bradley. He's got a paddock to go for a run. He balks, he's caught. Well tackled that time, a beautiful tackle by Carroll. The ball driven up there by Carlton, up towards their half full up at the umpires, paying a free kick out there. That was a superb tackle, wasn't it? Certainly was. Ball kicked back towards the uh, half forward line. Ironmonger got his hands to it, couldn't hold the mark. At the back as Dean taps it on. Down goes Dorothy. He can't get clear, and there'll be a ball up at centre half forward uh, for uh, the Sydney Swans. Just over the 12 and just on the 12 and a half minute mark, scores dead level, 13 points apiece. Well, they both missed that, the Ruckman. Still a scramble going on there at centre half four. The umpire Clayton will ball it up. Isn't that it about this ground? It's got something about it, hasn't it? It's got real atmosphere, Lou. It's a lovely oval. Waiting now for the umpire to ball it up at uh, the Swan centre half forward position with scores dead level. Knocked out by Matt, towered over the top of the pack, scooting around the pack. That time was Aspen, drives it out wide, comes out to Paul Morwood. It bounces okay for him out there at half back. He's gone for a short pass, it's okay, and it's marked here by Mitchell out there on the wing position. Johnson creeping over the mark, it's a 15 metre penalty for that. So this brings him right up to the uh, centre wing position on the edge of the square as he goes for the long kick. But there we see Road. Oh, he's dropped that and the umpire called plenty. He took that a bit too easily and the umpire will now ball it up. He should have grabbed that. It was a bad kick just the same. Waiting for a ball up out there on that wing position or a half forward flank position for the Swans. About 75 metres out from their goal. Knocked out by Matt and he gets it himself. He didn't worry about the Rover. That time in goes Alva. A long hand pass to the wide open spaces. Ball comes back, Roberts couldn't pick it up, kicked off the ground again. Plenty of Carlton players there, it's driven up there by Robertson. And McClure couldn't hold, but Murphy again, a little uh, 
Ex Geelong boy kicks it down there towards the big fella Kernahan. This could be his day today. He's starting to look good. He's at what two? Uh, two tall for Dersma. Two possessions already. Two marks. And he's got the ball now about uh, 35 metres out from goal directly in front and the chance to kick his first goal. His pass comes through and an excellent mark by Kernahan. And we've actually virtually got four centremen out there today, Lou. Shine going everywhere with Williams and Bradley's in the centre as well. Kernahan's kick looks pretty straight from here. I'll wait on the goal umpire. It's one point though. Might be, would it be a move, Bob, to swap Carter and Dersma over because Carter's a lot taller than Dersma. Carter minding uh, Motley at the moment. Yes, well, they're both dangerous players. It's six of one half dozen the other, I feel. Holden tries to get around Johnston, nearly pinned Bolton. Well shepherded. He's got plenty of pace. This fellow, Bolton on left centre wing, streaming downfield. Morwood does the shepherding to keep Robertson Bay. He's gone long up towards half forward. Good mark almost taken by Dorotich. Will it be a free kick? He's looking at the umpire for one. It's going to be a boundary throw in at the Swans left half forward flank. Underneath the new Doug Walters stand here at the SCG. Coleman and Madden. Bayes fumbles. Opportunity for Shine. Runs into plenty of trouble out there. He might get a free kick. He has done. Perhaps a little bit lucky. Well, they're making an announcement, Pete. They can't get all the people. There's still thousands of people waiting outside. And, uh, of course, they're packing up. I wouldn't be surprised. It's up to about 35,000 now. It's unbelievable, really. That uh, could have almost been a free kick against Blackwell. No one getting it out of the centre, though, and it's going to be a bounce or a ball up. It's very muddy. That's the muddiest part of the ground, certainly. It's like mud wrestling out there. So a bounce just on Carlton's side of the centre circle and the umpire indicating, in fact, he's going to throw the ball in the air. Madden and Ironmonger certainly suited Madden Blackwell can't get rid of the ball McClure goes down might have got tripped up but the umpire says no free kick Williams lightning hand pass to Danaher on towards uh, Stevie Wright at right centre wing he's gone for a pass down towards Kappa Door with him dragged him down must free be a kick. free kick now Kappa not the longest kick but he's usually pretty straight Got a funny style, Pete, but he can still kick a football. Let's take a replay of it again. Yeah, he pushed him all the way. Well, Dill actually tripped, I think, and fell into Kappa there. It's still a free kick. Oh, it's still a free kick, yeah. no doubt. Now, Kappa was under some injury cloud, or we heard a rumour that he was suffering from an injured leg. Let's see if he moves OK and kicks well. That rumour was that he might not be able to kick too far. Well, it's not the longest kick anyway. That stuttery start. Oh, he might have squeezed that one in, or has he? No, I don't think so. One behind. And that takes the Swans up to two goals, two. That makes scores level. 2-2 yeah, to 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, because he wasn't there, but he's still got plenty of distance with that one. Certainly did. And we're just on the 17-minute mark. The score's dead level. Out wide it goes to Alvin and Tony Morwood. He doesn't mess about Alvin. He kicks it off the ground. But Morwood's got too much pace, but he bounces back. He's up there. Is he grabbing him when he didn't have the ball? A bit of a splash there. Roberts coming out. Taps the ball on. It's kicked on by Duel again. Bradley over to Shine. He's got the job of tagging Williams. The kick by Shine is over the centre half forward position. The back is Kernahan. He had that all the way. As soon as it left Shine's boot, there was no doubt about it. And there's no doubt about it. He can play football too. Yes, I agree, Pete. I think it's worth a try already. Carter across. Waiting now for... Uh, there it is again. And Kernahan judging it to perfection. Now it's Kernahan from about 30 metres out directly in front to put the Blues third goal on the board and that'll put him a goal in front of his uh, successful with this kick there it is on its way and it didn't uh, move one inch it went right through the middle yes, well, an excellent mark by Steve Kernahan and I certainly would make that move runner coming with the Carlton runner coming out Carter across uh, Dersma to full back onto Motley and Shine now coming out of the centre after taking the hand pass and I think they've been listening to you, Lou. They're going very direct when they come down that ground. Well, it's the only way to play this ground, Bob. Go straight down the centre. Centre bounce again. Carlton in front. Down goes Shine. Did he get one in the back? The umpire said no. Gackett goes now. It's picked up that time by Carroll. Carroll's kicks back towards centre half. Ford top the top of the pack. Backing up well as Doranich. Kicks it out wide to the wing position. There's a race between Road and the right. It's uh, right in front, he gets away from Road, gets a hurried kick back to Danaher. Right on his tail now as Dorridge upends him completely, Shine goes in. Shine's kick is back now towards the half-forward line. Two players having a clash there, it'll be against Ashman for interference to Paul Moore, and he'll take that free kick out there on the half-back line. Into the quarter by just on 19 minutes of the first. Two goals, 2.14, the Swans to uh, Carlton, three goals, 2.20. 
Ball back off, getting up high was Edmund, but he couldn't hold the mark. Coming through is by a... Dersmer. Dersmer it is, and the umpire said dropping the ball. It could have been a push in the back, but he didn't believe that. Kernahan again, doing a very good job. Over to Shine. There's a magnificent pass to Bradley. And Bradley's got the ball at half forward, about uh, 60 metres out from goal. Making a lead down there is Motley. That's his flat mate. At the back is Motley. Kernahan's there too, and couldn't hold on. Madden neither could mark them. Motley's got the ball on the ground. They stack on top of him. There's four. Swan's there, and he gets a free kick for holding the ball. And fair enough too, because he took a fortnight to get rid of it. Stevie Wright at the right half back flank. Now, umpire is bringing it back again. It's going to be taken by Rod Carter. Carter again. Now towards the centre wing position. Ball fisted clear for Wright. And he runs into Mark McClure, who hooks it high down towards the goal square. Motley and Ironmonger. Well, Motley got one right in the goal. Now here's a chance for Johnson or Fraser. Neither can get clear of the Swans defence pouncing on any loose ball down there. And it will be a bounce right on the kick-off line. Motley still in the hands of the trainers. Got one right in the mush. Trainers indicating he's OK. Iron Munger gets the hand pass out, picked up by Dersmer. No, it's not Dersmer, it's Hawk. Back towards centre field. Quite a long kick by Hawk, right over the centre line. Now it's Hunter's chance. Hunter goes for the long hand ball at the road on right centre wing. Road likewise going long. They're going straight down the ground today. Motley was the high flyer. Couldn't get the grab. Chance for Roberts to pick it up. The ball still fairly slippery after a shower of rain earlier. Roberts. Road. Great mark. Over the top of Bays. He's at right half forward flank. Or perhaps a little bit further out than that. And it'll be an excellent kick to get it anywhere near the goal from there. Kernahan and Coleman. Roberts grabbed. Grabbed uh, also by Motley. Bolton tries to get clear, shoots out the hand pass, not a good one. Johnson's left foot snapshot is close, will it bounce through? No, only one point. So we're behind to Carlton, taking the Blues on to three goals, three. They lead the Swans 2-2, two, two, seven points in it. We've been playing 21 minutes. Carlton on uh, the big fellow, Kernahan, Dersman to the forward line, Lou. Ball back towards the centre half, uh, back position. Oh, McClure got up, couldn't hold that mark. Shine doing a good job, gets it out the road. Down towards Aspen and Hawk. Aspen gets up, couldn't hold the mark. Beautifully picked up there by the tilt himself. He's got it out there, uh, Carter, with a hand pass coming over there to Tui. And the Swans drive the ball over their half four line. This is Williams going after. Bradley's there with him, beat him completely that time. Oh, good, well intercepted uh, by uh, Bays, but uh, picked up by Road. Back to uh, Bradley. No, it's not Bradley, it's Dean. And the ball finally driven up there to the half forward line. This is Roberts. Ian Roberts couldn't pick it up. He kicked it off the ground. In goes a shine. There's no doubt about him. He's a real Derry. He won't give in. The umpire's going to ball it up. It was Murphy, I think. Could have been. You can see the zero. They're throwing themselves. That is not much uh, love lost between these two sides either, I'd say, Bob. They're very, very fierce today. I think the build-up has caused that too because there's been a tremendous build-up knocked out that time by Kernahan. Oh. Hawk gets the hand pass to Tui back to right. The ball grubbed along the ground. Coming in to meet it now is Alvin. Juggles it, he's clear, then he fumbles back to Bradley. Bradley gave it a base instead of Hunter. The ball shot back over their half forward line. Going for this Robertson got under it. Now Dorothy's has got a chance. He gets under the ball too. He can't pick it up. But there's the old reliable. The flying doormat to get it back. Alvin flies high. Taken away from Alvin by Road. And the ball booted back towards the wing position. At the back is Johnson. Goes the tap on. But unfortunately for Carlton, we see uh, Hawk there. Hand pass back to Paul Morwood. Over it goes now to uh, Danaher. Danaher at half forward. Drops the ball short. Coming in to meet it as Hunter with a hand pass long, but it's not a good one, but it bounced okay for Meldrum. Now he's in trouble, he's upended. Goes after it again, he won't give it as he tries to give it back there to uh, Hunter. Down he goes, but McClure shows him what to do to kick it off the ground. Iron Munger attempted smother. Paul Morwood comes out of it well. Short ball in towards centre field. Oh, free to Edmund. A charge, call it what you will. And Edmund will take the free kick for the Swans right in the mud patch. Short pass. Edmund out towards Williams. He's been praying brilliantly for the Swans this year. Williams, 20 metre hand pass. He's got Ian Roberts well downfield. The back pocket player, will he score? At the back is Madden. Madden takes the mark. Right next to the behind post. He's almost as tall as it. Oh, Bolton, great effort to mark there. Back to Hawk. Hawk's gone for a hand pass. Snapshot for goal. That was taken for the Swans by Bays. Kappa, has he got it? 
Snapshot might be there. Close. One point. Or is it through? It's a goal. And the fans on the hill are pretty happy about that. A point the difference, 21 plays 20. Yes, and, uh, one that they really needed because they've attacked and attacked in the last few minutes. Hawk doing extremely well around the packs. Gets it across to Bays. A long kick. Almost Mark, a mark. Though, there outside, there. Yeah, I would have played it. But it mattered not because uh, Kappa recovered beautifully and a nice snap. The point the difference at the SCG. Great game of football so far. Bradley, long hand pass taken by Ian Roberts. Roberts' kick is out towards the right half forward flank for the Swans. And in possession once again is Dersma. Dersma with a quick hand pass coming over to Bolton. They go back into attack up towards their full forward position. Flying high was Danaher. Couldn't hold the mark. Alvin gives it over to Melbourne down there in the back pocket out wide. But there's no one out there for Carlton coming in now as Rhodes. There's two against him. Hawk couldn't pick it up. Now he's got it. It's grabbed by Road. Drops it. The umpire call play on his base. Breaks clear from the back. Out there at half forward. Driving it up there towards Cap at the back. He's got it. He'll have to pay that mark. Too strong that time for Girl. Had to sit on him completely. You can't play this play from in front. You've got to play right next to him. As we watch again, as the ball comes forward, and Kappa judging it beautifully, an excellent mark. Now Kappa's got the chance to kick his second goal, and of course put the, the Swans in front by five points. They're 20 points down to Carlton, 21 into this first quarter by uh, just on uh, 25 and a half minutes. There's the kick. And he's got it through for another goal. So the Sydney Swans have hit the front. This crowd's going mad here today. Four goals, 2-26 to Carlton, 3-3-21. Three, three, and I believe there's still a couple of thousand or three or four thousand people still waiting to get into this crowd. Hawk off and Bolton. Uh, Hawk off and uh, Holden off. Yes, they're doing the changing the Ruck Rovers on and off the interchange bench, Pete. As once again, we see the mark. And then he finished off with his second goal. Centre bounce again. The Swans in front by five points. The ball driven over there by Mitchell down towards half forward. Oh, God, there's not only a free kick to the Swans, but picked up by Bolton. This could be another goal. A hand pass to Kappa. He's grabbed it. Oh, he might have got it. I think he did. He kicked it as they grabbed it. A great work by Bolton there, Bob. As it certainly was, Pete. And, uh, he really has a good turn of speed. And Kappa with three goals so far. Uh, I don't know whether it's a good thing to kick the goal so quickly on Bruce Dill, but it just might stir the old timer up a little bit. And uh, so Kappa with a long hand pass. Three goals to Warwick Kappa. The Swans lead by nine points. Back into the centre, Madden and Ironmonger. Neither can get an effective tap away. It's picked up by Road for Carlton. Down to half four. Attempted smother there, not successful, but the Swans defence is working well. Carroll, short pass out towards right half forward. Dersmer in front of Dorotic, seemingly relishing the move up to the forward line because he was minding Kernahan earlier at the back door. Punches that one well clear, Shine overruns it. Korkamilis, and then grab what he didn't have the ball, it's out of bounds on this occasion though. And the umpire indicating it will be a boundary, throw it in the Swans' right forward pocket. 27 and a half minutes have gone in the first quarter, the Swans by 9, 5-2 to 3-3. Three, three. Knocked away by uh, Dersner actually, right, he's played well in the first term, gets it back to Danaher, that looks off target from here, might squeeze in for a point, out of bounds on the full, and it was just out on the full too. So the free kick in the back pocket, to be taken by Bruce Dool, having the job of minding Warwick Kappa, who's already kicked three goals, the veteran of nearly 350 games, brings it back towards the Churchill stand side of the ground, Shine paddles it further forward, but it is out of bounds, a little bit further away from the goals on this occasion. Great crowd here today, and a great day for Australian football, whatever the result. Sydney Swans coming of age, more so if they can win this one. Hunter's kick, high. It's a real bomb, that one, knocked back by Bolton. Not very far, taken by Robertson, who's already kicked a goal for Carlton, chipping in beautifully out there as Carroll couldn't control it. Bradley fires the hand pass out to Johnston. Johnston short up towards half forward, Kernahan again, and shaping up as the real danger player for the Swans, and he can kick at a country mile, this fellow. Let's see if he goes for the long one, he has, it looks pretty good from here, it's another goal to Carlton, and another one to Kernahan. So two to Kernahan, it's his day today perhaps, and the scoreboard shows 5-2 to 4-3, 32 plays 27. Yes, maybe Kernahan uh, likes the opportunity of coming from the forward pocket rather than the, the key position 
because he is almost playing as a second centre half forward because um, McClure plays well up the ground and Kernahan coming in and almost becoming the centre half forward when McClure comes right up the ground. Five points the difference at the 29 minute mark. Oh, but well, Bradley just about threw that out, grabbed by Williams. Uh, Rhodes there, but it's finally picked up by Bays up towards the full forward position. That's just about a free kick to duel against Gapper. And the umpire will pay that. Five goals, 2.32, the Sydney Swans to Carlton, four goals, 3.27. Matt with a great mark in front of uh, Heinmacher. Quickly plays on a short pass, it'll be okay. And Bradley looking good in the centre. He's making uh, plenty of ground out there at half forward. He could have a run now, he's gone for a pass. It'll be okay and marked here by Ashman with well within kicking distance, about 35 metres out from goal. Lovely piece of football by Bradley. On a slight angle. Now if he kicks this goal, it'll put the Blues in front by a point. Certainly been a pressure game so far. And this big crowd is enjoying every moment of it. There she is on its way. But he's missed it. So it's four points the difference. A little bit disgusted at that time, uh, Ashman. 32 plays, 28. Just over the 30 minute mark. So the siren due to go any tick of the clock. There's the siren to end the first quarter in this great game at the Sydney Cricket Ground. It's, uh, the Sydney Swans in front, five goals, 232 to cut, four goals, 428. He's got a play from the side. And by side bottom comes in to throw the ball in the air. We'll start the second term. Carlton trailing by four points in our match of the day. The opportunity is for Morwood to try and get clear. He can't do that. Got grabbed a little bit too high down there, Jim Edmund, but Carlton booted forward. And it's going to be a free kick for holding the man. And the decision will go to Dennis Carroll, or now it's going to Roberts. Oh, oh, oh. that is uh, 15 metre penalty. Schoolboy stuff. Out to Coleman, trying to get clear of Johnston. Hawk looks for a hand pass to Morwood. And he might be penalised here. Now you get a free kick, Pete. Paul Morwood at the just right of centre wing. Dorotic. Playing in front of Dersmer on this occasion takes the mark. He played very well last week against Essendon and I thought was one of Carlton's best players. And they win over the Dons at BFL Park. Meldrum, this guy's been playing a ripper season on a big mat. It's tunnel ball out there. He couldn't pick it up. That might be out of bounds. I think it is. Yes, sir. Down the umpire in perfect position to see that. And we will have a throw in about uh, 25 to 30 metres from the goal. Still no addition to the quarter time score, 5-2 plays 4-4, 32-28 to in favour of the Swans. A minute and a half gone in the second term, Shine playing well, Hunter runs straight into trouble and the end result is out to Paul Hawke. Ball scooped out wide, Dorotich tries to crash through, gives it over to Bradley, Bradley in turn back to Dean, Dean up towards Blackwell at centre field in front of Bolton. His kick is a high one down towards uh, left centre wing. Kernahan gets the pass back again to Blackwell. Blackwell's gone for a pass on his own. Rod Ashman, he could score from there. Long shot by the Carlton Rover. That's a goal. Great play, Carlton. The Blues hit the front. Great goal. A great play on the part of Kernahan after he took that mark. But quick thinking. It certainly was, Lou. And uh, Blackwell showing uh, great speed to come down the ground and uh, take that hand pass back because Blackwell was in the thick of things earlier. And an excellent pass to Ashman, who had all the time in the world to steady and put it straight through. Just over the two-minute mark of the second quarter, and Carlton are in front uh, now by two points. Centre bounce. Two points the difference in favour of the Blues. Knocked out by Matt Bradford's kick is smothered. Back it comes now to Road. He boots it well over the half-forward line. Playing a great game, Road. Yes, and the ball picked up now by Ian Roberts. His kick is a hurried one, but it covers a bit of distance. Hunter, what a beautiful mark in front of Danaher. Great player, this fellow. And what an asset he's been since he crossed over from West Australia for the Blues. Kick by Hunter is back towards centre half forward. The pack fly. That's big Madden getting up. Couldn't hold the mark. Roberts again. Well smothered by Johnson, but backing up nicely was Hawk. Back it goes to Carroll. Carroll's kick is a better one. Goes right over the centre half forward position. Doherty flies. Drops the mark. Hunter backs up. Picks it off the oh. pack nicely. It's out wide to Blackwell, it bounces the wrong way, it'll come back to Williams, but Blackwell showing a lot of determination. Tunnel ball still out to Meldrum, Meldrum gets it off the ground, Meldrum and Bolton having a great go. It's tapped back that time by Edmund, over to Bolton, weaves his way through the pack, the ball down there towards the forward bucket for uh, the Swans. And it's uh, Robertson coming out, going for the boundary line, looking for Shine. 
It's too long and it'll be out of bounds on uh, the Swans half forward line about 75 metres around from their goal. So the scoreboard is uh, five goals, two, 32. The Sydney Swans to Carlton, five, four, 34. Into the quarter by three and a half minutes. Umpires found a free kick. It'll go to Big Iron Munger. I'd say that Madden's on top as far as the marquee knockout's concerned, but he hasn't done a bad job as the same, Bob. A fairly even uh, duel, but I think Madden's taken a couple more marks. Back there it goes, talking about Madden. He's grabbed that one. Pretty hard to jump over, too. About six foot nine. Hand pass coming back to Bradley. Bradley's in trouble as Warwood goes after him. Ball out wide now. Going for the boundary line. And Carlton clear the ball back there towards the wing position. That time by Dean. And it'll be a throw in from that centre wing position. Right, on, right in front of the... Uh, I don't know the name of the stand. What will we call it? I can never what? pronounce it. I'm not going to try and pronounce it, Pete. Still two points the difference. Ball knocked out that time by uh, Madden, but it goes for the boundary line again. And once again, we see it out of bounds on the centre wing position. Four and a half minutes gone of the second quarter. 34 plays, 32 in favour of Carl. Knocked down by Madden, not very far. In fact, he hits it straight to Paul Hawke, who got one a little bit high from Corker Miras. Loose ball. Can Carroll get there first? Just about a throw, but before that, now he pays the advantage rule. It's on to Williams. Williams on to Ian Roberts at the centre circle, the muddiest part of the ground, but it's a long kick. At the back is uh, Dorotic, tries to tap it down, gets it back to Robertson, fumbles, but he'll get clear. Ball off the side of the boot out towards uh, Bays, who chips in on the left centre wing to take the mark. A little bit further forward than that, between uh, wing and half forward. At the back, Williams tries to get through Duel. That's not easy. Capper, will he have a shot himself? Right foot snapshot is close, but I don't know. One point. So that makes the difference now. One point at the SCG in favour of Carlton, 34 to 33. Well, we've got Kernahan looking dangerous on Carlton's forward, but Capper's starting to look pretty uh, deadly down there too, Bob. He's got three on the board already, and once again, the Swan's not waking up to that move from full back. No, it's uh, been on all day so far, and Hunter this time takes the mark. Out to Ashman, playing well. Carroll tries to get it down. Interferes with Meldrum. In goes Johnston again, having a good match. Good shepherd by Blackwell. And the mark taken by Bernard Tui at the right half-back flank. Stevie Wright in a little bit of trouble, so I'm told. Didn't see it. I think he ran into Wayne Johnston. Speaking of running into players, now it's a chance for uh, Danaher to get clear. He's fired it out to Bolton. Bolton up with Stevie Wright, he's recovered well. Right from the right half forward flank, long shot by the oh, Swans. Ruck Rover, what a goal! Oh, did he recover okay? Well, whatever injury he had, it certainly did the world of good, but it was a magnificent goal. Oh, the back end doesn't take long for Stevie Wright to recover from. Uh, and uh, so, uh, on replay now, we see one of the most courageous players in football, Stevie Wright, an excellent goal. Seven kicks to Stevie Wright. The Swans go forward again. Seven's big lead from the SCG. 39 to 34, five points in it. And a chance to get another goal here now as it goes back to Stevie Wright, the boy that kicked the last goal, but he's up for target that time and through for a point. Well, they're really putting pressure on Carlton. They're not getting it easy today. Just about their best player, isn't he? Certainly though? he's played well. They've had many, both sides have had good players today. It's been an excellent game, incidentally, too. Dill going for the long kick out to Hunt. He's marked about six of these since he's kicked off. He gets away from Dersma. Shoots the ball around towards the half forward line. But it'll beat uh, Coleman and uh, Kernahan and the ball is out of bounds. Down towards Carlton's half forward line, but it's a heck of a way around from their goal. They're trailing by six points at the moment. Hein Munger and Matt. Knocked down by Matt. Bit of a scrimmage there as we see... Uh, Corkamelis trying to get it out. Umpire giving a free kick. What was that for, Bob? I think it might have been a backhander. Goes out wide towards that half fourth on Hunter Rod on the boundary line. Attacked there by Dersmer and the ball is out of bounds. Dorotich uh, now on Danaher and uh, Hunter on Dersmer. I think that was because of the way Dersmer was playing in that second, uh, first term. Seven kicks to Hunter doing a pretty good job down there in defence. Of course, Stevie Wright's had about nine kicks. He's kicked a goal. The ball out of bounds. Still on the centre wing position. Right in front of the Pat Hill stand. Knocked out by Madden again. 
Ball picked up here. Now that's it in the back, I would say. And a free kick will go to Hawk out there on that half forward line for the Sydney Swan. Playing well too. Oh, he's a great try. There's Kappa making a lead. Right on his tail there is Duel and Duel will draw. He dropped at the flying doormat that gave Capra a chance and it lifted in the attacking zone for the Swans. Shouldn't have dropped that. He looked as though he had that one secure then, but he's a bit disgusted straightening up the headbands. He slipped a bit, I think. That's not bad. One mistake in about 20 years. No, <laughs> I'll go along with it. I won't argue about it. Robertson taps the ball back to Hunter. Still doing a great job. The ball back out there to Mark McClure, tries to tap the ball on, pushed away by Paul Moore, grabbed by Bradley, a hand pass to McClure. McClure with a long one, but there's no one there for uh, Carlton. Oh, that was foolish, but I think he spotted some. Well smothered by Johnson, picks it up all right, ducks. He's clear now, another long hand pass. Aspen taps it over to McClure, can't pick it up, it'll bounce okay, great play. Chance for a goal, now he's gone for a hand pass, back to Aspen, runs to the open goal, and through, scores dead level. Oh, that was good play, but they worked hard for Carlton, didn't they? Bad fumbling by Swans, though, Bob. Oh, beautiful play by Wayne Johnston. Uh, to smother that hand pass, uh, it was a smother by Johnston that, that set that goal up. And uh, now he gets the hand pass over to Ashman, who taps it on beautifully. McClure, having got that long hand pass down in the first place, almost uh, about to fall he was, I think. He was uh, probably <laughs> falling from tiredness, the stumbles, yeah. I think and then got the hand pass over to Ashman, but great play by Wayne Johnston. Johnston really playing well for Carlton at the moment. Once again, scores dead level, two goals to Ashman, two to Kernahan. The main goal kickers for the Blues looking good in the second quarter. They go forward again as it's picked up by Corkamilis. Tried to do perhaps a little bit too much as Mitchell relieves the pressure for the Swans, drives them into attack up the half forward. Danaher hit him on the chest. Williams gets clear as he often does. Dorotich a little bit late in the scene. Kappa and Duel, two out again. Kappa! I'll tell you what, Bob, Bill's got to play this bloke from the side. You can't play in front of this fella because he gets the sit on you all the time. Yes, he had the, the sit on Duel then, and uh, he really did. And if Duel is back, even playing from, from behind uh, rather than in front. That's right. So it might be a quick reply to the Swans. Capital's already kicked three. I'm wondering if Robert Walls would perhaps consider a move if he kicks this one. We'll soon know. Warwick Capper from about 20 metres out directly in front. A staggered start, looks good again, goal of fire says four points, four goals to Kappa, once again the Swans in the move. Well, I will say that if uh, Luke Bruce Dool was under, a, not Bruce Dool, Warwick Kappa was under a cloud, then uh, he certainly, the gamble has certainly paid off already, Pete. You, could, you started to stutter there a bit, Bob, I think, when the Swans... Oh, concentration that was taken away a bit. <laughs> well, there's no doubt about it. Kappa, a very exciting player, but uh, Bob did mention too, and I've said this all along, every time you play Duel from in front, you, uh, Kappa from in front, you're gone. He gets the sit. He's got to stand right next to him, or even playing from behind, Bob. He'll have no hope if he stands in, in front of him. Plus the six. fact he's a lot younger than Duel, too. That helps a bit. Everyone is. Well, <laughs> no, <laughs> not everyone. 46 to 40 in favour of the Swans, approaching the 12 minute mark of the second quarter. Knocked down by Iron Munger. Mitchell's kick is only a short one. Dersma, well done to get the ball into the open spaces. Bays again goes for a knock further forward. And a real pack developing there. And umpire Clayton will bounce it at the centre half forward position for the Swans. At the 12 minute mark of the second quarter, Madden. Having a great battle with Ironmonger, Madden won that one, Williams was right onto it though, chips it further forward, up to Kappa again, and Kappa marks in front of Duel. So, flame in front, flame from behind, where do you play? Well, I think they've got to think about moving Duel now. Well, Kappa is fast, there's no doubt about that. Now, coming in for his seventh kick, that was a good lead, and a fine pass too by Williams. Now... For goal number five, Kappa about th 30 metres out on a slight angle. That's not a good kick by Kappa. Dorotic punches the ball over the boundary line. It'll be a throw in right forward pocket for the Sydney team. I think that's just about as far as uh, Kappa wants it out from goal two, Bob. He's got to really stretch for it, hasn't he? There might be a little bit of uh, truth in the fact that he's uh, leg not 100% with that kick. Knocked out by Matt. Melbourne picks it up there on the boundary line. The back pocket out it goes there to Bolton and Blackwell at the back there. Oh, beautiful mark to Williams. He might be being tagged, but he's still doing a pretty good job. Fantastic hand pass of this fella. Gets a few kicks too. Certainly does, but uh, when he hand passes, always to a player that's in a better position than himself. He doesn't waste hand passes. And we've seen some great handball players in our time here with Polly Farm and Cable. This fella's up with them. 
Kick by uh, Williams is a long one into the goal square. Madden got his hands to it, couldn't hold the mark. Dorries goes for push along, picked up by Ryder. Hand pass comes out to Danaher. This could be a goal. But it's through for one point. A bit of pressure out there. Certainly is. It's a pretty tough game. 47 plays 40 in favour of the Sydney Swans. Into this second quarter by uh, just on 14 minutes. And there hasn't been a let up all day. Ball out wide. This could be dangerous. Coming out now to Alford. It bounces okay. Oh, well tackled. A magnificent tackle by Tony Morwood. He grabbed him on the head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great tackle as the ball goes back to Kepper again. Punched away by Duell. A fumble by Doritz. Back it comes to Duell again. He runs into Mitchell. Drops the ball. The umpire said, hold the man. So it'll be a free kick to the flying doormat down there in the back pocket position. There's Alvin. Alvin again. Got he him might, by the hair. Is that a free kick or not? He might consider having a haircut after that. Well, I think he would. Up it goes now. The pack fly. And there we see a great mark taken there by... Oh, he'll lose that if he's not careful. Oh, he should have. Gave right one right in the mush that time, but the ball is playing on down towards the half forward line. Kernahan, that time, Carlton was too strong. A strong mark. Swan's looking good as the ball goes out. They're in front by seven points. As they go now, and a mark by Tony Morwood. Well covered that time by Dorothy, but there's a lead coming up now. Alvin in front. He's got the mark out there short of half back. We're into this quarter by just on 15 minutes. Seven points the difference in favour of the Blues. That's Dean taking the ball out wide towards the wing position. Far too wide and the ball is out of bounds. So it's out of bounds. A little bit down towards the Carlton half forward line. About 75, 80 metres around from their goal. And the Blues finding it hard to break clear of this very determined side here from Sydney. Down goes and more were picked up by Mitchell, smothered, he gets it back to Bolton again. They're showing a lot of courage here and a lot of go about their play at the back is Dean. And he takes a great mark down there in defence for Carlton out there at half-back. Dean, if nothing else, they have shown they are really competitive this year. That's certainly different to the sides we've seen up here over the last few years, Bob. Blackwell had his name on that one. The umpire said it was a mark. So Blackwell at the left half-back flank. Gets a 15-metre penalty, which will bring him up to centre field. Crowded Carlton forward line at the moment. Coleman, Roberts, beautifully done. Brad Shine as Williams waited for it and he could kick a goal. That's close. It's just about there, but only one point. So a point to the Blues, kicked by Brad Shine. Williams of shadow today, 47 to 41. Once again, six points. The difference as Tui prepares to bring the ball back into play. Shine's minutes. in a bit of trouble too. Beatley caught one, I think. I didn't see that. Morwood, good tackle by Alvin. I just think he could tackle Alvin by the hair because his hair goes down to the waist, doesn't it? Just about. Very long. I think it's uh, longer than Platten's almost. Now, yeah, Shine isn't a bit of bother. Looks like for Carlton's sake, he's okay because he's really been playing well. Now to Bays on centre wing. Bays trying to get clear of Robertson. And the umpire says it is a trip. He looks as though he's sick, uh, Pete. Uh, he might have got winded, uh, perhaps, Lou. Pretty tough cookie. Bayes with a 15 metre penalty, bringing him almost up to the left centre wing position. Underneath it is Madden. Oh, I've got a nice old one in the back. That'll be a free kick. Quite a fair game, uh, big Justin Madden, too. He's doing well. Madden from half back. Looks for a hand pass to Tommy Alvin. Alvin well clear on this occasion. He won't get caught. Good shepherd. Alvin's kick up towards the right half forward flank. Very close to the boundary line. Kernahan in front. Got one in the back from Hawk. And he'll take the free kick. Kernahan, short pass. On to Johnston. Playing well for Carlton. Johnston's kick is a high one. That's almost a mark down there to Williams. McClure. Well, McClure has come down with it. Oh, I love this player. He's a fantastic guy, aren't you, Bob? Yeah, you've summed it up, Lou. A real go. And M Mark McClure. Let's watch that again. Williams and McClure, the two flyers for Carlton. Oh, interesting. McClure came down with it anyway. I'm sure they both had their hands on it. McClure directly in front. He's only about 30 metres out. Should have no trouble in making it his second goal. Ken goal once again the scores will be level goal umpire says it's a goal scores level again at the SCG well that's a captain's goal Bob you got to kick those ones when you're a skipper from that distance out don't you well, it's an excellent duel with it between the two captains uh, McClure and Carroll there's Wayne Johnson taking the hand pass off Kernahan and Williams did come across but McClure still taking the mark. The uncle of Andrew Brown from Melbourne. Would you go to the police room? He's apparently lost the uncle of Andrew Brown from Melbourne. He's in the police room. 
McClure's second goal and scores dead level again at the 18 minute mark of the second term. Ball back out there on the centre of the ground. The umpire's found a free kick. It'll go to Dean for one in the back. Tell you, he's been pretty quiet today, has it? But he's been pretty well covered. Yeah, by, by Dean. Ball kicked out wide towards the wing posi position. Coming out to meet it now as uh, Williams doesn't bother to pick it up. He played it safe, went for the kick off the ground. Out it comes now to little Mitchell in plenty of trouble. Doridge can't pick it up, but Mitchell goes after it again. A tunnel ball job there, and there's a bit of a box on behind play here. It'll be Williams and Shine. They've had a bit of a dish up before. Well, Shine might be trying to even up because he was a bit sick before. He'd lost, nearly lost his strides. Looks like one of the Swanettes. <laughs> or a capper. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Hully's a go as shy, but I'm quite sure that Williams won't turn it up either, Bob. I can guarantee both of them. <laughs> so we could see four rounds of boxing before it's over here today between those two. Ball up out there towards the, the Swans half four line, about 75 metres out from their goal. Scores dead level, 47 points apiece. Into the quarter by just over 19 and a half minutes. Oh, good tackle that time by Shine. He pinned uh, Williams down, but the umpire said it'll be a free kick and they're at it again. I don't know if it was a push in the back of what it was. But the umpire seems to think that uh, Shine was at fault, so he's given the free kick there to Williams. So I thought it was a good tackle. Short pass. Up goes Aspen and takes a fine mark there in front of uh, Mitchell. So he's got the ball down there, short of the uh, back pocket position. Scores dead level, 47 points apiece. As the ball is kicked back there to Weinmark with the front punched on again by Kernahan. A hand pass coming out for, to Malcolm for Blackwell. A short pass looking here for uh, Motley, but he can't pick it up. He goes oh. after it now. He's clear. A bad hand pass that comes back now to Blackwell. It's kicked off the ground of Bradley. Oh, slick hand pass to Johnson. A running shot at goal. Will it come around enough? No, it goes through for one point. By golly, was that sleight of hand that time. It was a ripper, wasn't it? Was that close? He almost handed it to him. <laughs> 47 plays, 48 with the Blues back in front by a point. As we approach the 21 minute mark of the second quarter, the ball back into play again. Chance for McClure, overruns the ball, down goes Alvin. I thought he got Monica one in the back. Morwood's there too, but the umpire will ball it up about 60 metres out from the uh, Carlton goal. Ball up at the left half forward flank as we approach the 21 minute mark at the quarter. The fitter side might have a big say in this last quarter. Johnston again, playing a very good game. A trip, says umpire Clayton, who too? Holt, Coleman, well oh, he's in trouble, Meldrum, gets around a couple, socket into the open spaces up towards the centre wing position, it bounces well for Bayes, Blackwood in pursuit, Bayes' kick is not a long one but it might find Danaher, out of bounds, between right centre wing and right half forward for the Sydney Swans, Jim Edmund on screen as Bob said has had a quiet day, but there's been some great duels here today really yes they're all over the ground, Shine and Williams has the most appeal at the moment, it's uh, shaping up to be one of the more fiery ones, certainly. Now Edmund has a chance. Hunter right there with him. It's out of bounds, though. A little bit closer to the Swans' goal at their right half-forward flank. Boundary throw in. Another team giving it in so far as we await the throw in. Madden to contest with Danaher. Now to Williams. Williams takes the hand pass. Long left footer into the goal square. Kappa couldn't take that one out of bounds. And it will be a throw in adjacent to the behind post in the Swans left forward pocket. Over the top, Kappa. Mitchell tries to get around Dool. Snapshot won't quite be there. Kappa, can he take the mark? No, it's thumped through by Dorotich for one point. And so the scores now 7 6 apiece. Once again, scores level. Bruce Dool. Let's see if he can find Kent Hunter once more. Hunter again making a breakaway move to the outer side of the ground, but uh, Duell didn't see him on that occasion. He brings it out to Tommy Alvin. And between them, they've marked just about everything from the kick-in. Carroll has been fairly quiet today. Oh, Johnson copped a ripper and the book comes out. No doubt about that. Ball will come back. Well, you haven't got much chance these days, Bob, for doing those sly ones like we used to in the old days. Yeah, uh, the two umpires. <laughs> We'll take a look at this. This was a gem. Very silly. We haven't got it. Here it is. Now watch this right-hand corner of frame. Not much doubt about that. So uh, an appointment there and a plane trip to Melbourne tomorrow night. Tony Morwood. 
Certainly a bit of needle out there, as we mentioned before. Johnston takes the free kick. Tried to find Kernahan. Couldn't take the grab. Black ball. Well caught. Good tackle by Williams. Out of bounds. Right forward pocket for Carl. Just on the 24-minute mark of the second quarter. Scores dead level. Seven goals, six apiece. Ball out of bounds about 35 metres around from the Carlton goal. Knocked out by Carter. Aspens grabs. He tries to go clear. Can't pick it up. He copped a hawk that time. Now it's Bolton. Grabbed by Shine. But still gets the ball out nice into uh, Roberts. Roberts' kick is wide. Chance for Mitchell. Punched out that time by Robertson. Coming in to meet it now is Dersma. He's in trouble. He caught one from Bradley. The ball kicked off the ground at Danaher. Fumble. But he taps it on beautifully now to Bays. Bays is clear. A left foot kick up there towards the full forward position. But there's the big fella. Doing a great job. Justin Matton takes a mark in defence down there on the back bucket. Ball back out towards Dorotich and Danaher. Dorotich tries to juggle. Still can't pick it up. And he wanted anybody else getting near it. And that's Paul Morwood gets it over to uh, Bays. And, oh, Alvin dropped the centre, but he's got plenty of time to recover. It was a bad mistake and smothered again. And Dorotich getting through the pack, but he's run straight into Morwood. And he went for the boundary line. He could have been lucky to get away with that. There's a lot of pressure out there, and uh, the tackling of the Swans really putting uh, pressure on the Dorotich on that occasion. Well, out of bounds this time, it's only about 35 metres around from the Swans' goal. Knocked out by uh, Big Matt. Overrun the ball was Rowe, picked up by Hawke, back it goes to Williams, this looks dangerous, a running shot of goal, and he's put it through for a goal, and the Swans have hit the front by a goal. Two goals to Greg Williams, and uh, even though Shine has done a pretty good job, Greg Williams is bit by bit uh, starting to, to gain the ascendancy over, over Brad Shine, and he's a dangerous player no matter what. Uh, We've talked about players who can, cannot handle being tagged, and I don't think it worries Greg Williams at all. Well, he certainly played a great game. <laughs> 25 and a half minutes, the crowd going mad because the Swans have hit the front again. Alvin can't get clear. Picked up by Coleman, a hand pass to right. This could be another one. It is a goal. And they're 12 points in front. The crowd going mad here. Look at it going mad. Nine goals, 660 to Carlton. Seven goals, 648. 12 points the difference. It's an excellent goal as uh, Coleman gets the hand pass out. A lot of pressure, as we've said repeatedly, but uh, right, taking it from Coleman. A good move. Coleman now back on the forward line with uh, Kernahan at centre half forward. And. Uh, Dr. Edelson and his wife Leanne, delighted. In the Royal Box, the Royal Cup. 12 points the difference as the crowd again chanting Sydney, Sydney. We're playing time out in the second quarter. Been a great game of football so far. Williams again gets the ball out of the centre. He's a champion, this fellow. At the back, Kappa couldn't take the mark. Alden with Tony Morwood, who had his number taken by one or two umpires from incident earlier in this term. Duel tries to get clear. At the curve, back to uh, Dorovic, shot it off the ground, Kappa a chance, Denny's shoots, hit the post. Should have hand passed. And I suppose he didn't have the advantage of a rear vision mirror, Bob. I had the chance of giving it straight to Morwood. 9-7 to 7-6, 13 points the difference. And this time Rowe taking the mark. We're still finding players almost every time when he kicks out. Mark taken on centre wing position by Robertson. Robertson, lovely long kick down towards right half forward flank. Motley could have got a free kick there. He was grabbed, but it's out of bounds in front of Dennis Carroll, and it will be a boundary throw in about 35 to 40 metres from the Carlton goal. Steve Goff, Robert Walls, and Wes Lofts. Knocked down by Carter. Bob uh, Motley's been pretty well covered here today too. He's been a pretty quiet player. So just thinking, I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see Motley swap with Hunter. There's the ball knocked out again, coming in as Aspen Carlton, badly needing a goal. Picked up beautifully by Hall. Hall was a try. Goes for a hand pass, not a good one. Down goes Johnson. He's played a cracker jack game, but that's not a good hand pass. But backing up well as shy, they collar him pretty quickly. Paul Morwood, who got it to Mays, who completely missed that one. He goes after it again, Paul Morwood. In the front position is Motley, grabbed, oh, well tackled by Bays, and it's out of bounds. He was possibly a little bit lucky to get away with it. He's not having a great day today, Motley. Finding kicks very hard to come by. It's out of bounds on uh, Carlton's half-forward line, about 75 metres around from their goal. They're trailing by 13 points as the ball is shot back there towards the wing position, and that'll be a mark to Dersma. 
Goes for a hand pass. It'll be all right. Picked up by Mitchell S. Galling out pretty well, the Sydney Swans. Down it goes. And, uh, oh, nearly a mark that time to uh, Witzel. But uh, it's out of bounds. But it's up on the Swans' half four line, about 70 metres around from their goal. They're in front by 13 points. As we approach the 29 minute mark. Ball kicked off the ground, and it's out of bounds. Kicked off the ground that time by Dean. The Robertson, it was. Ball back into play again. Knocked out by Matt. Black, uh, Blackwell's kick is not a good one. There's a chance for Big Iron Mumble. Well, it was a beautiful play by the part of uh, Kernham, but his kick wasn't too hot. It's out of bounds on the full. And that'll be a penalty free kick at half back to Carter. Goes for a short oh. pass, a dangerous one. Knocked out by Johnson. McClure has grabbed nearly hold the man. He's got the free kick. I thought so. McClure gives a quick effort to shine. Another pass coming up. Oh, Blackwell and Hunter missed them, but it bounced okay for Hunter. He has a shot towards the goal. kernahan has got the chance to mark this one. It hits the deck. Going after it now as Carroll plays it safe and forced it through for one point. So it's two goals of difference. 61 plays 49 in favour of the Sydney Swans and Carlton in the hot seat. Not playing well enough to get on top of this very determined Sydney side as we go into the, uh, just on the 30 minute mark of the second quarter. Paul Morwood from half back. Gets it round to the right centre wing position. Opportunity for Tui out there as the siren goes to end the second term and the Swans, as Lou said, leading by two goals. A great game of football before a tremendous crowd. Great atmosphere. Seventh big league from the MCG. 9-7 plays 7-7 seven, seven at half time. You want to be a real footballer? I've been a real footballer. You've got to look like a real footballer. You've got to go for the mark. The VFL mark. Go for the mark. Go, go for the mark. mark. Go. go for the VFL mark at leading stores. Real footy gear, real footy accessories, real footy supporters gear too in all club colours and badges. Go for the mark. Go for the mark. Go for the mark. Go for the VFL mark at leading stores. And by Clayton to start proceedings in the second half of the match with the Swans leading by 12 points. They led by four at quarter time. Madden and Ironmonger. Again, neither can get an effective tap out from centre field. Stevie Wright on the bottom of the pack with Meldrum. And once again, it will be a bounce or a ball up. Just wide of the circle, we start again. Knocked down by Ironmonger this time. Bad bounce for Alvin. Socket away by Bays. Out towards the edge of the square. Witzel, oh, gets tripped up. I think he might have tripped over his own man. Now, who's that wearing number 60? Uh, is it Motley? Motley is, Pete. Free kick going to Bays. Oh, it's a grab. More, what is it? Now it's Coleman. Marking about 20 to 30 metres out from goal. Let's watch it again. Great grab by Glenn Coleman coming from the back. It's an excellent mark by Coleman. And it could be a vital goal to be able to go to three goals up straight after half time. Would be a handy break, wouldn't it, Robert? Coleman gets the stutters, so obviously not too confident. That's not a good sign. He goes back again for take two. Now three players standing on the mark. Which years ago used to be illegal. What's he done with that run? It's a goal, so a great start to the Swans in the second half. Coleman putting through his first goal, and that came up at the minute and a half mark of the third quarter. 18 points the difference. Yes, a great start to the Swans, uh, getting the ball out straight out of the centre. Uh, as we see Motley tackled. The free kick going against Motley. And so Bay's putting the ball forward. And we saw a fine mark by Glenn Collin. Three goals the difference in favour of the Swans. One by Madden this time. Williams onto that. Williams short kick up towards half forward. Morwood gets the hand pass out the base again. He's a beautifully long kick. This fellow, that could be a score. Capper at the back. Marks! Oh, he nearly went off, but he decided to go. Now he's kicked it. It's a goal. It's a goal. Four goals the difference. Capper five goals. And the Swans are light at the SCG. Well, they've got to think about moving Dill now, Bob. He's got to be moved, but in fairness to... Uh... And once again, Williams getting the ball out of the centre after Justin Madden got the big tap, and uh, Williams got the ball out of the centre. So, Brad Shine is not on Williams now. It looks as though Robertson's uh, been given the job, although Bradley is there as well. Five goals to cap at 24 points. The difference in favour of the Swans. The Blues in plenty of trouble. As Bradley fumbles the ball, gets it out. Uh, Hawke had a fresh air shot that time. And there'll be a ball up at centre field. 
just on the three minute mark of this third quarter and they've got uh, two goals within two minutes the Swans and they're looking good now yeah, Carlton have got to get a couple of quick goals to be back in this game knocked out by Madden he's dominated the centre bounces picked up by McClure a hand pass out to nowhere picked up by Williams Always placing it well over there to Carroll. Carroll's kick is a long one down to the two number tens. Patched away by Shine. Backing up well as Dean. Gets a hurried kick out there towards uh, Blackwell. Is intercepted by Carroll. Showing a lot of dash. Boots the ball well over the half forward line. And that's Dorothy getting in front of Coleman that time to take the mark down there in the back pocket. Four goals the difference. And the Swans looking good. They win this one, it'll be six in a row. McClure can't bend down and pick it up. He taps it over now, out towards the wing position. Williams got under it, kicked off the ground on the full. That time by Bolton, it'll be a penalty free kick to go to Carlton's Bradley on the centre wing position. Well, Axwich down towards their half back line. It's around Bolt, but he's still under pressure to kick the ball. Drives it back up to the half forward line. The pack fly, there's a great mark for Johnson. Tripped up a 15 metre penalty for sure against the Swans. Now this brings him pretty well within kicking this because he can kick a ball. They badly need this goal. They're trailing by 24 points. He's gone for a short pass, a bad one. Trying to find McClure. This allows Hawk to pick it up. Over it comes to Williams. Balks around Johnson. Back it comes now and uh, Roberts has got the ball there at half back. It's on the wing now and uh, coming in to meet it is uh, Dersma. Hand pass. Bolton getting around. He's a partner. Bolton at uh, Witzel. Witzel goes for a pass, it'll be all right, and marked by Mitchell, about 45 metres out from goal. Kappa moving around, leading uh, Dool and Mary Downs down there, and of course he's already kicked five goals, Dool watching him from front on. Dool slipped. Let's see whether Kappa can mark this one. Coleman's down there with him too. The well, little fella to. might kick it. As Kappa got up pretty high, couldn't hold the mark. Shine chips in, takes it away from the back bucket. Goes for a pass out there to half back. But the ball is out of bounds. About 55 metres around from the Sydney Swans. The fight behind play. Well, there's a bit of a dish up there. In goes Melbourne. Coleman just shrugs him off. Go. Uh, Melbourne gave uh, Coleman one to go on. There's a bit of body punching going in. Williams at the back. Well, this has been on all day. And the tempers have been frayed. And not much love lost between these two sides because the administration of Carlton were pretty uh, vocal about what they thought about the reality. And so then we see Big Matt here. He's got two plays against him there. Oh, look at this. The crowd loving every moment of it too. The crowd were almost in it. Well, this is what Carlton don't want because the Swans are sitting pretty with 24 points on the board in front. And Carlton not looking that good. And only about six players not involved in that. They're the sensible ones. Well, it'll be... Let's see what the result. It'll be a throw-in, I should imagine from about 55 metres around from the uh, Sydney Swans goal. I think it would give the Swans a bit of confidence, Carl Carlton reacting like that. I'd reckon 11 goals, 773 to Carlton, 7749, a difference of 24 points. And then the crowd really coming to life now. Mitchell picks it up, down to Kappa and Duel again, but Dorotic takes the mark in front of Coleman. If I was Kappa, I'd stay clear of Dorotic. He's got that fiery look in his eyes. He's fiery. He's got a second chance, he needs one, out the shine. He gets offloaded. Now that downfield looks very ticky touch with that one, but it's on again on the wing, this time between Tui and Williams. Umpire's trying valiantly to restore order, I think. Let's hope wiser heads prevail. We've already had one number taken, that was Tony Morwood in the second quarter. Dennis Carroll coming to life in the third quarter. Long kick by the Swan skipper, who's he got at half forward? Only Tommy Elton, but it's knocked away by Bay. Shine puts his head down, nearly has it pulled off. Johnston playing a great game for Carlton. Johnston to the left half forward flank. Kernahan goes the knock on. Couldn't do so. McClure grabbed well by Carroll. Fine tackle. No free kick to either side. Out from Blackwell to Ashman. Ashman's gone for a pass. No one down there, and the ball going through for one point. He tried to guide that one through, steer it through, Bob. 11-7 to 7-8. There was nobody down there. He had the opportunity, but uh, the kick just offline. Carter. Toward the Pat Hill stand wing. Morewood in front. Can't take the mark. Ashman again out to road. Road out to Robertson. He's already scored one. Make it two if he's accurate. He's not. It's through for only one point. So Carlton missing a few opportunities. Early in the third quarter, we approach the eight-minute mark. 11-7 to 7-9. 22 points, the difference. 
We wait now for the ball to come back into play. A very fiery game. A short pass. It's okay. Ball dropped there by Hawke. At the back is Bradley over the top of Paul Moore. What takes a great mark out there at a half four, but a good distance out from goal. But he's got a 15 metre penalty. And this gives him a chance to make the distance. He'd be about 45 metres out from goal. Do they need one? They're trailing by uh, 22 points. McClure making a lead, but ignored. Kick on its way. But once again, Carlton are off target and it's through for one point. So it is 21 points, the difference. 73 plays, 52, and the Swans looking really good, kicking to... Waiting now for the... Uh, I think Bradley's had 15 possessions so far. He hasn't played a bad game, Bob. I'd, I'd go along with you. I'd put, put him in the centre. Ball punched away that time by Robertson, comes back to Road. Road goes for a short kick to Hunter, punched about by Carter. Grabbed by Melbourne, battling there was uh, right, picked up by Melbourne again. A long hand pass to Johnson. Over it goes to Aspen. This could be a goal. No, it'll be marked by Kernahan. He's only about two metres out from goal on a very acute angle. But could easily kick this one. Should he miss? He's going for goal number three. And he's looking around. He's not too confident. He's looking for a Carlton player, I should imagine. He's going to have a shot now. Put, pulling the socks up. They're down by 21 points. This will make the difference 15. Crowd uh, certainly giving the raspberries. He comes in. It's certainly a pro uh, Sydney crowd. And what is the result? A goal. So it's 15 points the difference now. Carlton's still certainly in this game, but uh, the Swans really have shown so far, Lou, that uh, they're one of the competitive teams this year and are prepared to not only not just take the game up, but possibly away from the Blues. Steve Kernahan. Only five metres out, put that one through for his third goal. Three goals to Kernahan, Carlton's leading goal kicker. Ashman has two, McClure two and Robertson one. The goal kickers for the Blues, for the Swans. It's five to Kappa, two to Wright and two to Williams and a single to Tony Morwood, who has had his number taken. Ten minutes into the third quarter. Carlton very much back in the match now. Sydney, Sydney, the chant comes again, Ironmonger soccer's it off the ground, but it's a free kick going to Mitchell at centre field. He's played a fine game today, very rarely plays a bad game, young Mitchell. Mitchell going straight down the ground. Two on one out there against Tony Maud. Bays backs him up, goes for the knock on, tries to find Williams. Williams looking for a hand pass, it goes to Shine, Shine caught. Good tackle, Williams again, Bolton, Witzel, Witzel at half forward. Another hand pass, Stevie Wright, right into the pocket to Coleman. Coleman, a snapshot. No, one point. I don't think Glenn Coleman would uh, pass himself as the most reliable kick. And then an 8 to 8 10, but he took a great mark earlier in this third quarter. Bruce Dool, again with the job of bringing the ball back into play. Generally found a player so far. Let's see what he can do on this occasion. Alvin's quite often his target, but this time it's Dorotic. Dorotich from left half back flank. Good long kick by the former West Australian trying to find another import. And his touch on the back. Hand. Hand back. Out to the Swans, uh, Peter Tui. Tui to take the free kick for the Swans for the offence. Mentioned by uh, Lou and Bob. Norwood in front of Coleman couldn't take the mark. The ball socket over the boundary line in front of the Rawongal stand. It will be a boundary throw. In. 74 plays 58. 16 points the difference in favour of the Sydney team. Iron Munger getting the front position or trying to, knocked down by Madden. Mitchell fumbles, the opportunity is for Williams, not a good kick. Uh, Bolton, back to big Madden. Johnston, probably Carlton's best player. And certainly in their top three anyway, knocked down by Carter to get it away from Hunter. Scooped out by Kernahan, not a, an accurate hand pass certainly. Meldrum tries to get through. A wild hand pass intercepted by Mitchell, tries to break the tackle. McClure, four goals to Kernahan if he's straight, he's not. And the, I am going to say the Bluebirds, but the Swan Ants duck for cover, 74 to 59, a difference of 15 points. I think the way that Kernahan kicked that just shows uh, that it's not an easy job out there at the moment. Paul Morwood takes the mark just up from the left back pocket. He of course won the best and fairest with St Kilda last year. Albert in front out mark by Tony Morwood behind. Let's hope they don't lose him for next week's clash with Hawthorne. Great mark that. 
Up to left half forward. Another good grab this time taken by Dersma. Who's relished the opportunity of being up on the forward line after an inglorious display early in defence. Duel in front, Capra at the back. Push in the back, says the umpire, or on the shoulder, call it what you will, it's a free kick to the doorman. Well, Bob agrees with that one, do you, Bob? Yes, Luke. Ball kicked across, goal, it could be dangerous. Madden can't get down to pick it up, Wright's clear, gets a hand pass out now, uh, there's a chance for Bolton, straightens up. Oh, disastrous play by Carlton, Burley's playing a goal. Oh, golly, why did they do that? 12 goals, 8.80, Sydney Swans to Carlton, 8 goals, 11.59. Oh, that was Furley's play. So they've taken a gamble on a few occasions, and uh, Tui doing the right thing. He took off from way up the ground, left his man, came down the ground, and Bernard Tui set that goal up. Uh, it was great play by Tui to enable Bolton to come through and use his pace. Into the quarter by just on 14 minutes, the third. It's 21 points the difference for the Swans, and they're still looking good. Well tackled by Rowe, 21 points the difference as Mitchell gets a hand pass out to Hawk. A beautiful play, sidestepping, a running shot at goal, must be all right, it'll be another one, it'll be a goal. 27 points the difference now, and the Swans have just about got this game by the throat. 86 plays, 59, and they're running over the top of them, and the crowd going mad. There we see uh, Robert Walls on the phone. He needs all the help he can get at this particular stage of the game. And I think the Swans have got their confidence right up at the moment. They're playing fine football, and Hawke has been a, an excellent player right throughout the game. I wonder whether Carlton had uh, worried so much about players like Williams that they, they forgot that uh, Hawke and these players are also good players. 86 to 59, now as uh, Hawke put through his first goal, the Swans again get that at the centre of the mark, taken by Witzel from the kick from Mitchell. Witzel, as you can see, inside the square, a long way from goal. We have seen them kick from there before. Long kick by Witzel. Kapper and Duell. Ashman reads the play well, shoots out the pass. Mark taken by Robertson, just up from the left back pocket. He's gone for a pass to Meldrum. Meldrum marks on centre wing. Here he goes. Kernahan, no, bump ball, Tui fumbles, Kernahan, another opportunity, puts it high, up towards the centre half forward position, and Madden, he's lost that one, Carroll, Hawk, Morwood, Morwood full of running at half back, short pass down towards half forward, knocked into the arms of Blackwell, onto Road, onto Alvin, who never plays a bad game, Alvin long hand pass, looking for Bradley, Bradley at the right half forward flank, High ball up towards McClure, who flies. Great mark, Mark McClure. That was a gutsy mark. There's no worries about the coverage. <laughs> oh, what a ripper. Right and you'll be interested in the crowd, gentlemen. 37,874. So that's a record. We expected that as we watch that mark again. Listen, you couldn't say there, was, there wasn't any desperation <laughs> by the Swan defence either. Real but captain's uh, mark, Bob. Going for goal number three, and he doesn't miss them from here. Mark McClure, only 30 metres out. He does. Oh, golly. Have to cross that one out and already put it down. That's most unlike Mark McClure. Certainly deserved a goal. 13-8 to 8-12. A difference of 26 points and Mark looking very disappointed with himself. And as well he might. And the Blues under plenty of pressure at the moment. As this time Danaher is going to kick the ball back. Change being affected by the Swans. Holden comes off and uh, Dersma goes off. Mark, Road playing a good game. Road from centre field, straight down the track, at the back, Kernahan. Tony Danaher down there with Kernahan now. Well, Hawk gave uh, Aspen one to go on with across the bridge of the nose. Now Kernahan, same position, oh, he's a little bit closer than Mark McClure actually, and he's already kicked three. Carlton's leading goal kicker today. Living up to some of the promise that we expected of him in the VFL after starring in South Australia and against Victoria in State of Origin matches. He doesn't miss that one and he's popped it through for his fourth goal and Carlton still very much in contention at the SCG. 86 to 66, only 20 points. It's only 20 points as uh, Peter said as Ashman comes off the ground as a chat to uh, Robert Walls on the phone but nonetheless uh, Although it's 20 points, the Swans have played far better than uh, the Blues in this term. Uh, the, the forwards are moving around, they're giving the players coming down the ground something to kick with. And coming out of the centre, players like Hawke and Mitchell are really picking up their kicks. Centre bounce again. 20 points the difference in favour of the Swans. 
The way a free kick there to Blackwell. Madden can't pick it up. He can't get clear. The umpire said it's home the man. So big Justin Madden to take that free kick at centre field. Into this uh, third quarter by 18 minutes. The ball over the half forward line. Picked up by Kernahan again. That'll be home the ball for sure. Now he said he had no hope of getting rid of it. Bit lucky there, I think, Kernahan. Could have been. A ball up about 35 metres out from the Carlton goal. And they're trailing by 20 points. They badly need one here to give the side a bit of a lift. Grabbed by Ein Munger into his back that time was Kernahan. A scrimmage there developing in front of goal. It's only about uh, 20 metres out from the Carlton goal. And once again, we'll see a ball up. So it'll be a ball up. We go for the knockout. Will be Kernahan against Einmunger. Knocked out by Kernahan. Coming into picket odds. Oh, was that a trip? I think so. And the free kick to go to Tui down there on the back pocket for South off of the Swans. Quick hand pass coming over to Bolt. Out of, uh, wide to hold it on his own. There's no one within Tui here. We'll go for another hand pass. A good one over to uh, Bayes. Bayes drives the ball down there, looking for Mitz at the back as Dean got up high. Dill gets him, he's grabbed by Kappa back and comes down to Hawk, a good hand pass. It'll be just an hour tough target by right through for one point. So it's 21 points the difference. And they're really having a go at the goals, the Swans now. 87 plays 66. In a bit of trouble, Carl. They can't really bridge that gap every time they get a goal, get it down to 20 odd points. Go, they get another goal, the Swans. The ball out wide again. Bit of battling going on there, coming in to pick it up now as Blackwell out there at half back. He's grabbed, going after him as right gave him one to go on. As the, the ball comes back to Bradley, well tackled that time by Holden. A juggling match there with right over to Holden again. It'll be a good pass and Coleman's got the mark out there at half forward for the Swans. About 65 metres out from goal. Kappa staying at the back. Ball dropping short in front there was Morwood, punched away by Alvin. Shine missed it, a hand pass coming back there towards the centre of the ground, but the umpires found a free kick. It'll go there to Shine. Been knocked about a bit today. He and Williams have been at it all day. Short pass out wide. And a mark taken there by Meldrum. Meldrum's got the ball now on the centre wing position. The difference still uh, 21 points in favour of the Swans. The ball dropped short. Punched on by Madden. McClure missed that. Grabbed by Carroll. And Carroll's kick is a long one over the half forward line. The players set themselves. And there's a great mark in defence by Dean. Over it goes to Duell and the flying doormats away and running as he sends it out there to that half forward line. McClure juggles the ball, he's got to pick this up. Carroll's right on his tail, he's got far too much patron. Great play by Carroll, but he's put it out of bounds on the full and Lux a Free point. kick, no free, free kick, kick to Carroll. Free. Well, he must have been pushed out to kick the ball, was he? The umpire indicating that he was pushed. Okay, the free kick to go to Carroll down there on that half back line. Good play by the uh, Swan skipper. Just on the 21-minute mark, it's 39-87, the Sydney Swans. The count, nine goals, 12-66. Dennis Carroll from the left half back flank. Looking for Tony Morwood. At the back is Glenn Coleman, just about gave that to Paul Hawk. Coleman again. Dean, Hawk. Oh, beautifully done from Paul Hawke, short pass, that wasn't well directed though, gives the Carlton defence to a duel. An easy opportunity to get clear, out towards the centre wing position, Dorotich, good mark, about a foot and a half taller oh. than Stevie Wright, who puts it on Academy Award performance. Now Blackwell, looks for Meldrum, Meldrum's clear over the top of Bolton, here's a goal coming up to Williams, if he, no he's gone for a hand pass, Hunter has a shot, hit the post! <laughs> oh goodness me! Should have been a goal. But he was under pressure just the same. They're doing it all the time as the Swans down there, Bob, aren't they? They really are. They're making every Carlton forward has to earn every kick he gets. Long kick by Carter. Well, Coleman took off before acceptances. Dorotic tried to sock it away. It's picked up by Holden. On centre wing. Bays and Rowe. Bays. Turns on a threepenny bit. Up high towards full forward. Mitchell. Dives on top of the ball and also Dean. It's going to be a bounce about 45 to 50 metres out from the Swans' goal. Quarter in progress now. 22 and a quarter minutes. Red Shine adjusting a knee bandage. Madden palms that one down, but not particularly oh. uh, a good shot. Williams, short pass. Capper and Duell. Duell looking for a free kick. Should get one. Now the doormat not doing a bad job in this quarter. Although Kappa's kicked five goals. Madden. And a 15-metre penalty, or what you will. 
Oh. Steve, you're right, I don't think likes Big Justin. He <laughs> could get it reversed if he's not careful. Matten decides to play on. Now he can play on. Yeah, he's got to play on. Dean. Up to 4-4, four, four. that'll be a push in the back. So there are a couple of silly free kicks there given away by the, uh, the Swans. Hunter has the free kick. Ten kicks to Ken Hunter. That won't be a score, but it'll be pretty close to Kernahan. Oh, gee, it's touched through. Just, I wonder who got a finger to that. It wasn't much in it. I think uh, Kernahan might have just touched it in trying to take the mark. 68 to 87 now, so 9-14. Not accurate kicking by Carlton. They've kicked two goals, seven this quarter. Might prove costly. Ball back into play at the back is Carter in front is Hunter. Morwood can't get clear, now he does so. Paul Morwood a little bit short of the right centre wing position. Long kick down to centre half forward. Off the hands of Mitchell, might be in the back again. And it will be a free kick to come. 19 points the difference in favour of the Swans. As we approach the 24-minute uh, mark of this third quarter, the ball back into play, up towards centre half forward. Carter got into Hunter's back again. Johnson can't pick it up. It's Holden getting a hand pass to Ryder. Quick one over to Williams. Always doing something with it. It's going for a pass. Morwood gets up, couldn't hold the mark. Covers into Duels back. To, gets it over to Shine. Shine with a hand pass to Dean. Back it goes to Bradley. They're messing about. But now they're out in the clear out there at half back. As we see Shine take the ball out there, a pass to uh, McClure. McClure's kick is a long one up towards Kernahan at the back of the pack. Tapped out towards Murphy. Murphy's in trouble. He's grabbed. That'll be nearly home the ball. Down goes right, they jump on top of him. Hunter's in a bit of trouble there, can't get clear to behold the man. Crowd not too happy about that decision. It's about 48 going there, left and right. So it'll be a free kick now to Hunter at centre half foot. I think the distance might be a little bit too far, but he can kick a football. About the same as he was before, though, when one scraped through. He's gone for a short pass, a bad one. And beautiful interception that time and a good mark to Bolt. Who hasn't played a bad game today, here either. And the further the game's gone, the better Bolton has played. Strong play of Bolton. Gives a quick hand pass. Over it goes to Wright. Wright's kick is a long one out there looking for Tony Morwood. Alvin is there with him. Morwood couldn't pick it up. Uh, backing up there is uh, Robertson. Picks the ball up. He's gone for the boundary <laughs> line. Was that deliberate? The umpire didn't think so and it's out of bounds. But golly, just scraped in too. <laughs> and it was deliberate. Well, Bob Skilton said that. 87 plays 68. A difference of 19 points. Into this quarter by 25 and a half minutes. That's uh, Bays getting it over to right. And what a game this little fella's playing two and a half four to pass. Not a good one. And the ball marked here by Motley wearing number 60 over to Williams. It goes. Williams kick is a short one. It'll be okay. And Bradley takes the mark out there on the centre wing position. But he's well covered by Tui. And Blackwell was on his own in the centre. Now there's a long kick over the half forward line. Hunter comes across. They're all flying. Murphy's got the chance to score. He's too slow. Well tackled by Holman. Picked up by Carroll. In goes Johnson. Down goes Johnson. Flicks the ball back. This has given Williams a bit of a break. Spins away beautifully. As his kick is well smothered that time by Robertson. Picked up by Williams in plenty of trouble. A hand pass. Coming out now to road at centre field. Drives it wide. Looking for Meldrum at the back is Robert. But meldrum has got it. He's off. Running towards the goals, fires, but he's off target, and it's through for another point. So it's 18 points the difference. 87 plays 69 in favour of the Sydney Swans, and Carlton can't peg them back as yet. Two goals, eight they've kicked this quarter now, Lou. Just on the 26 and a half minute mark as the ball comes back into play again. Warwood and Alvin tapped away, down towards that uh, forward pocket position, and that's Holden on the back of the pack, and he'll get a free kick for hold the man. No pun intended there, Lou, I don't think. That's right. Morwood on centre wing. Hasn't had a good quarter, Tony Morwood. He's fumbled. Johnston, right half forward. Carlton looking a lot better now. Carroll and Murphy. Carter. McClure looking for out of bounds on the full. Be a super optimist there, Mark, I think. I'd reckon. Boundary throw in in front of the Pack Bradman stand. The young fellow have got lynched. I'd reckon after that Dean one. McClure at the back tries to take it over the top. Mitchell, oh, it's a high one, here's danger, Meldrum, oh, well within kicking distance, only about 30 metres out and directly in front, and he should be able to bring up Carlton's third goal for the quarter. Mr. Mitchell was under a lot of pressure then, but uh, he should have gone towards the boundary rather than hooking it back. Well, well see, this will make it 18 points, that, uh, 12 points, the difference if he gets this, Pete. Well, we might have missed it, has he? I'll wait on the goal umpire. One point, so that's 2-9 for the quarter. 
and this could be very costly for Carlton. 13-9 to 9-16, a difference of 17 points. 2-9 to 4-2, Pete. Danaher. Comes out to the Rwongal stand wing. Nice long kick underneath it, Road and Dersma. Hunter almost came down with it. Road again, just about got leg there. Umpire lets it go. Now it's going to be a bounce right on the point of the square. Time on being played in the third term. Seventh big league from the Sydney Cricket Ground. We've got a thriller between the Swans and Carlton. Carlton going for their fifth win in succession. The, the Swans for their sixth. Knocked down by Matt. Tried to find Bradley. Get tackled well. And once again, it's going to be a bounce almost in the identical position. No side making much headway here. Still in Carlton's attacking zone though. Madden against Ironmonger. McClure fumbles. Paddles the ball out towards Bradley. Bradley gets the hand pass to Blackwell. Blackwell can turn over to Road. Road will have a shot from there from 45 metres out. That's a goal! About time! So Road putting it through. Great goal. And it's only 11 points now at the SCG. Well, it's not time to celebrate yet for Carlton. It's still down the drain by 11 points, Bob. Yes, and uh, Bradley in the thick of things in this term, Lou. And uh, I think uh, with, with Carlton, they're still a little bit defensive because they've got Robertson uh, going with Williams, but they are allowing Bradley to have that free-running game as well. 11 points, the difference. Into this quarter by uh, just on 29 and a half minutes. The, cut, the Blues within striking distance now as the ball goes out wide towards the wing position. The great race going on between those two speedsters, Carter and McClure. It's McClure in the front, uh, Carter in the front pos. He's up and it'll be holding the man against McClure. So the free kick to go to Carter out there on the centre wing position. One of the most reliable, if not the fanciest fullbacks in the league. But he does a pretty good job week after week. The ball's pushed out now to Williams. Umpire's found a free kick. Things starting to fall into place for Carlton as Dean will take that free kick out there at half back. 11 points the difference. Siren time about uh, a minute or so away. Out of bounds. Johnson couldn't retrieve that one. And it's down towards Carlton's half fourth on about 80 metres around from their goal. 87 plays 6 to 76. Knocked out by Madden, grabbed by Blackwell, run into a brick wall, they're picked up by Moore, over it goes to Holden, he goes for a short pass, looking for Coleman, Coleman and Doroditch, coming in to meet it now is Shine, taps it on, cop one from Coleman, a bit high, picking up the line was right, back it goes to Coleman again, a running shot at goal, Kappa and Dool at this one, Kappa got his hands but couldn't hold the mark, Dool's after him, the youngster's in front, he's getting away from Dool, he's clear, he's got grabbed around the Guernsey note, Play on the umpire said, good, good decision as it comes out now, over it goes, there's the siren as we see Bolton get it over to Hawk but it was too late, it's 11 points the difference at three quarter time, 13-9-87 Sydney to Carlton, 10 goals, 16-76. Over 37,800 fans watch as we begin the final quarter at the SCG, the Swans leading by 11 points, can they hang on? Williams, he's been a great player. Long hand pass up towards half forward, picked up by Motley. Motley's kick of hand pass, shine. Up towards the boundary line. Hawk, we've got one a little bit too high. He'll get a free kick. Been a good player today too, this fellow. Advantage rule paid. Bays nearly runs out of bounds. That could have proved costly. Up towards Kappa and Duel. Duel goes the punch. This time Mitchell, can he have a shot? He does! It's a goal! It's the one they wanted! So Mitchell. Roving it beautifully after Duel had knocked it away from Kappa, bringing up the Swans' 14th goal. And it was his first, 49 to 10 16. And the Royal Couple once again in the Fondy Brace up there when their sides hit the front by 17 points. On replay now, Duel puts it down. And an excellent piece of forward work, fine roving by Barry Mitchell, and he's played a fine game. Barry Mitchell bringing up his first goal inside the one minute mark of the final term. 93 plays 76. 17 points the difference, Madden wins it from the centre circle, Meldrum will put Carlton into attack, he's gone for a run, he's run his full distance, long shot, could almost be a score, but Danaher backing back, oh, what a costly miss, it's a goal! Hit the post! Oh, hit the post! <laughs> God, he had the chance oh, there, going ahead, didn't he? Really, what, what a fumble though. Tony Danaher breathed again. <laughs> 93 to 77. Well, we're all pretty excited up here, as he brings the ball back towards the outer side. Underneath is Hawke, knocked away by Madden. Chance for Williams. 
onto Bradley. Bradley on left centre wing. Short pass by the former South Australian up to McClure. McClure takes the grab. Was he off? No, says the umpire. Now Mark McClure could nearly kick this. We've got right behind it, Pete. Yes, he's an excellent kick, Mark McClure. Has kicked two goals for Carlton so far today. Missed one at the other end that he should have got. It was a bad miss. McClure goes for a short pass. And Robertson well within kicking distance. He kicked Carlton's first goal of the match. And a chance to make it his second. The uh, Swans defence a little bit lax that time. Let uh, Robertson get out on his own. You must pick your men up when the game's in a position like this. They're in front by 17 points. 16 points, I think it is, the difference. There it is on its way. It won't make the distance. And nicely played that time uh, by the uh, Swans defence. And fourth through by for one point. So there we see the score, 15 points the difference in favour of the Sydney Swans. Into the quarter by uh, just on, uh, or just over two and a half minutes. There's a good pass and marked here by Dersma. Dersma has the ball out there on that half uh, back line for the Swans. Drops it short towards the centre wing position. Coming right across to take the marker's road, but kick. there's a free kick. It'll go against uh, Dorothy. it'll go over there to uh, Coleman. Coleman doesn't weigh, oh he's in trouble, he's got the ball away clear. Stepping nicely out the way is Hawk, a double balk that time as he sends the ball back there towards that half forward line. And uh, I think he'll pay the mark to Motley wearing number 60. So Motley has the mark. The difference only 15 points, 78 plays, 93 in favour of the Sydney Swans. We're over the three minute mark of this last quarter and every minute counts and uh, claiming the mark. Well, there's a hand pass coming out from Hawk again, this is a good one over to Mitchell. Mitchell gives it to right. this could spell danger as a running shot at goal, it's through! Three goals to Stevie Wright and two quick ones at the start of the final quarter. The Swans looking good at the moment. It's a 21 point lead as uh, we saw a great piece of teamwork there and probably three of the best players on the ground. Hawk to Mitchell to Wright who makes no mistake. 21 points the difference now for the Swans and they're still looking good into the quarter by just on four minutes. 21 points the difference, the crowd going mad, he was right, drives the ball down there towards Cap, he's got the set, can he mark it, he's got a chance to score a goal, Mitchell. Kick. The umpire's found a free kick, it'll go to Duel against Kappa for interference, down there at the full back position. They're in front by 21 points and still looking pretty good. Crowd of just on 38,000, enjoying every moment of it. Up goes Madden, got one right behind the ear from Einmunger. A stack up here as Wright tries to get the hand pass and he won't let anybody else get it. And the umpire will ball it up out there on that half forward line for this one. Still in their attacking zone and they're leading by 21 points. The ball up at the right half forward flank for the Swans as we approach the five minute mark of the term. About 20 players around that too. Knocked away by Madden. He's got Meldrum out there. Tries to get around four more. What beautiful smother. Stevie Wright, he's just about BOG. But a terrific game, Wright. I don't think the coach would need to motivate Stevie Wright too much, Bob, would he? I don't. Just send him out in the ground, Pete. Well, we've very rarely seen him play a bad yeah. game up here, Pete. Been a great play for the Swans. Certainly has. Madden wins that one. That was uh, Holden. Mark taken down there by Shine, playing in the back pocket. Shine around Tony Morwood, out towards the member stand side. McClure, a push, is it? Yes, I think so. And Carroll certainly made sure he saw it. Dennis Carroll, the two skippers having a great duel. Big pack of players down there, knocked away by Duel. Madden, just about caught. Loose ball for Duel to pick up. Can he do so? Yes, flings it out. Carlton defending desperately down there, but it's going to be a pull up. Only about 15 metres from the goal. A bounce. About 20 metres. There about from the Swans goal. It's going to be Coleman against Madden. Madden easily. Robertson easily. Williams. Good tackle. Bolton holding the ball or pushing the back. A little bit lucky. Williams has kicked from the back pocket. Plenty of distance in that. Knocked away by Carter. Picked up by Hunter. Those two are well away from the goal, aren't they? Loose ball. Left half forward flank for Carlton. Can Danaher pick it up? 
Plenty of opposition from Bradley. A real chance of Carlton can get clear. Murphy's hand pass into the open spaces for Hunter to pick up. He's gone for another hand pass. Johnston into the goal square. The ball bounding towards the line, though. And over it. There will be a boundary throw-in about uh, 20 metres from the behind post. Carlton's right forward pocket, a real chance for the Blues. And we're just on the seven-minute mark. 21 points the difference. A chance now for the Blues to score. It's about 20 metres out of bounds. 20 metres around from their uh, goals, I should say, out of bounds. So we're waiting on the throw-in. Einmunger will do battle this time with Kernahan. Both buffeting for positions. Sign Munger getting the tap down, coming in as Williams in front of Alvin, but Alvin snared it up pretty well, gets a hurried kick towards the goals. But once again, the Blues kicking bad. That was a desperate kick, a very difficult shot. And the difference now, 20 points. 15-9-99 to uh, Carlton, 10-19-79. So they're still looking the better side, the uh, Swans. As Danaher drives the ball back there towards the centre half, or over the centre half back position, a strong mark by Moore, and over the top of Melbourne. Got the ball out there on the edge of the square. Bolton making position there, but he's ignoring that. I think he'll go straight down the ground. Oh, he's gone wide. It'll be all right. And Carroll, the swan skipper's got it with another long kick down there. Madden's in the way. Got under that. Doherty's comes in, misses it. Picked up by Holden. A step and goal. Campbell grabbed this for show and play on. No. Oh, he was nearly off. He was nearly off and run and he spotted that Carlton player. He's already kicked five. And he shouldn't miss this one for his sixth. He's only about four or five metres out from goal. Well, there's no doubt about Kappa. One of the most exciting players around when you see him when he's firing. And today he's really red hot, going for goal number six. Given the fly and doormat plenty of trouble. There she is, another goal. And that's made it pretty difficult for Carlton now. 105 plays 79, and look at that going on up there. It'd drive you mad, wouldn't it? I've been the other shot before. Probably <laughs> both. I you were talking about the Swanets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, it was suggested before the game that uh, Kappa was uh, a doubtful quantity, but uh, there's been no doubt about the way he's played. <laughs> I think they might have set that up as a bit of a joke, Bob. And so. Kappa going for the water. Just over the nine minute mark, 105 plays 79 in favour of the Swans and this big grant and they can smell victory for the Swans and they're right behind them. Williams has kissed a short one out towards that wing position. Tommy Albert in the front buzzy coming across his Carter, put him off balance. It's kicked off the ground by, by uh, Bays. Bays has got it now. Goes for a long hand pass. Has a chance of the go deep into attack again. Dersman right on the boundary line. Showing a lot of pace. He goes for a hand pass. Back it comes to Hawke. Bork back to Williams. Williams boots the ball. Looking for Cap. Trying to get the sit there. Dool has grabbed it. The umpire said he'll pay that mark for Dool down there in the fullback position. And the Swans are now 16-9. 105 to Carlton. 10-19-79. Into this quarter by just on 10 minutes. 26 points the difference. Matt and the screamer. It's going to be a free kick to Motley though. Motley to take the free kick at the right half-back flank. Motley wearing number 60. He rattled his jersey at half-time. Long kick by the South Australian. Pissed away. Into the arms of Bayes, who's played a pretty good game today. Up towards Dorotic and Coleman. A couple of speedsters there. Dorotic off. Oh, runs the ball. It's left to Bruce Dool, isn't it always? Dool's kick out towards Williams on the half-back flank. Bolton. Right there with him, great duel between these two, no one making any headway, Bolton finally gets it in the open spaces for Coleman, and the big beanstalk has a shot at goal, and that could be the slimmer. Coleman brings up his second goal, and Swans fans pretty happy here at the moment, 17-9, 111 to 10-19, 79. It's a great effort by the little fellow in Bolton there, he just kept at it and at it and at it, eventually tapped it out for Coleman to be able to pick it up, and a great snap by the big player in Coleman. Well, Bolton, of course, came fairly unheralded. There's uh, a bit of, uh, what do they call that? Beefcake, Bob. Is that right? <laughs> Certainly not cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> if it is, it's Gorgonzola. <laughs> He's got right here on his chest and he has in his head. <laughs> I wonder what number they're going to bring out for the doormat. 17-9 to 10-19. 111 plays 79. 
If they need Superman's number now for Pete. Knocked on by Bradley, up to half forward. Murphy, can he get clear of Roberts? He does so, gets around Mitchell, fires it up deep into the forward pocket. Over the back, McClure! Takes a great mark and a chance to bring Carlton still back into contention. He's only about 10 metres out from goal. Here's the mark and replay. Good use of the body, fine judgment by the Carlton skipper. McClure's already kicked two. Duel, not not duel, but uh, McClure from point blank range. It's a goal. So three goals to Mark McClure, Carlton still in contention, 12 minutes in. Well, 26 points the difference, Bob. Can they pick it up? Not the way they're playing, they can't. Doubt very much, Lou. It's, uh, that was one of the few occasions that they've gotten the ball forward. And they did come on in the, in the second half of the third quarter. And whether or not they can do it now, because the Swans really do look to have the legs and are running on. Well, we're just on the 13-minute mark of this last quarter. New jumper for Dool. Dool's got his new jumper on as the ball is knocked out by Matt. 26 points the difference. They go back into attack. The Swan through Mitchell up and goes to Dool. The, the jumper might have helped him a bit as he goes for a long kick. Oh, had a knocked uh, Tui down, going through his car to his grab. He gets it out to Tui, but he fumbles the ball. A stack up there. Tui pushes out again. And it comes out now to Bays, a long kick down there towards the forward pocket position. And Donald is out manoeuvring uh, Carl on that time, decides to go across ground. He's got it out wide, Black was on his own there, but coming in to meet him, he ran right into a uh, beautiful tackle by Bolt. Great play, that allowed Hawk to pick it up down to right, it's too long. Once again it's Doherty, getting away from right. Goes for another pass, out wide now to Motley, wearing number 60 out there on that wing position. Goes for a short pass, it's picked up by uh, Blackwell at half four, but a good distance out over to Hunter, and he takes the mark towards centre half forward, but about 60 metres out from goal. Kick by Hunter's up there towards the full forward position, they want someone to take a mark here. It's grabbed here by Dersma, hand pass, coming out wide out of base, he got under that, but luckily for him, that Dersma's backing up, he's having trouble picking it up, he'll go for the boundary line, no, he's grabbed, it's grabbed here now by, uh, by Alvin, couldn't get clear, and the ball finally given away, that time by Tui and he's put it out of bounds on the full. So this gives Carlton the chance to go back into attack. Meldrum off, Corkamilas on. Corkamilas on the ground, just over the 14 minute mark. The difference, 26 points, the difference. Corkamilas taking that free kick on that half forward flank about 65 metres out from goal. It drops a bit short, Madden in front. They're all there, the big flyers, no one can take the mark. Kicked off the ground. Oh, there's a free kick around the neck to uh, Tui, and he'll take that free kick down there in the back pocket. I don't think the Blues are playing well enough to win this, Bob. I don't think so either, Lou. Uh, the Swans, as I said before, do have the legs, and they're running on, and they've always got someone to kick to. They've got Carroll out there wide now. There we see more, but getting it out to Carroll. Carroll down there in the back pocket, or out towards half back. Goes for a long hand pass, coming over now to Carter. And the tilt drives the ball well over the half forward line. It's a good kick too. That's the way to boot it. Finally backing up there now. We see Dean get the hand pass going over there to Duell. Duell drops it short. A good mark taken here by Johnson. Right on the edge of the square. He's around about the centre wing position. They've got to get it down quickly because they're trailing by 24 to 26 points. As we approach the 15 and a half minute mark. Coming in now is uh, Williams. A hand pass. A wild one. Tui's there to back up the defence there and takes the ball back now. And there we see Roberts, another hand pass over to Hawk. He's played a great game. Back to Morwood, back to Hawk. And doesn't this look good as he goes for a run? This could be another goal. Well smothered. Well smothered by Dorothy. This allows Murphy to take the ball away from the danger zone. And coming out again, the Terrier Bolton showing a lot of this takes the ball away from that half-back line. Bolton a short pass and that's effective. Roberts, oh, might be against Motley. 15 metre penalty but he stopped him running on brings him up the right half forward looking for Kappa Dool wearing number 59 Murphy almost pinned long hand passes out of bounds so a boundary throw in at the Swans right half forward flank we've been playing just past the 16 minute mark in the final term 17-9 to 11-19 and the Carlton Brains Trust there looking fairly worried the Blues still perhaps in with the chance Roberts went through, can't come out with the ball, thrown out, the whistle had gone, and it will be a bounce almost in the identical position.
and Carlton have tried everything they possibly can and uh, it just hasn't quite worked. Not today, so far. Need some quick goals. Knocked out by Bradley. Gets it back towards the centre square area. Chance for the Blues and Robertson. Up towards half forward. Oh, great mark to Hunter. He can play on. He, he does so. Here's a goal coming up. They'll get this one through Alvin if he can get clear. Alvin gets onto the left foot, snaps on and has put it through for one point. Oh, oh. I can't do a thing right and everything's falling into place for the Swans. 11.20 Carlton have now kicked and they kicked 3-9 in the third quarter. So maybe they've kicked themselves out of it. Bob, if they did get up to win this, which I doubt very much, they don't really deserve to win it, do they really? Uh, the Swans have deserved to have their lead, Lou. Uh, Carter looking a little bit sore, but uh, I'm sure if he looks up at the scoreboard, he'll feel better again. Yes, Rod Carter. Looking a little bit the worst for wear, but he has played a very good game today. We really see Rod Carter put in a, a lacklustre performance. Paul Morwood goes for a short pass. It's marked by Holden, just up from the back pocket in front of Tommy Elvin. We discussed it about missing that last one. Holden's kick is a high one towards the Brewongle stand wing. Oh, Ironmonger and Madden both missed it. The two big guys didn't show much judgment there. It's left for Bays. Bays around the boundary line on his bike. Here he goes. He'll go for the long one up towards uh, Morwood or Kappa. But over the top, a great mark taken by Motley. Good mark by Motley, goes for a short pass. Uh, Matley looks very tired to me, he could hardly get down a pick that he lost it. Williams having a great battle there with Blackwell, well smothered that time by Road and the ball is out of bounds. Up towards the Sydney Swans half four line, about 75 metres around from their goal. 25 points the difference in favour of the Swans. Williams again, he's played a great game, drops it short to mark them all with It'd be about 45 metres out from goal. Goes for a pass, left unattended that time, and there's little Mitchell. Hand pass, coming back to Bolt, put him under a bit of pressure. He's got to go for the left shot up towards the goals, and he may have put it out of bounds on the full he has. This gives Dory a chance. Into this quarter by four, 18 and a half minutes, 17-9, 111, the Swans. The Carlton, 11 goals, 20. Shocking kicking for goal, 86. But that's bad football, if we say... In the football world, the ball back into play again. In front is Madden. There's Kernahan. Who got that one? Justin Madden's grabbed the mark, but he looks pretty tired to me. To Robertson over to Blackwell. Ball shot short. Hunter picks it up on the half volley at centre field. Looking for a lead out wide. Coming out as McClure and Dersma. Ah, oh, great play by McClure, but he's tagged. He gets it back to Johnson. He's well within kicking distance. Now they badly need this one because they're trailing by 25 points. I don't think Carter's too good. Lou is signalling to come off, I think. And he's only about... To let me... If we see it again, it drops short. Now he's got a chance. He's only about 30 metres out from goal on a very slight angle. And boy, do they need this goal after kicking so badly all day. So make the difference 19 points if he's successful. Goal. They don't even move. It's right through the middle. So the scoreboard, 19 points now. 17-9, 111. The Carlton, 12 goals, 20-92. Probably about uh, 10 minutes left to play, so if the Blues could uh, just immediately get a goal, they would be back in with a chance, but it's the Swans who seem to have the legs at the moment. Well, I think Justin Matt looks very tired. 111 plays 92 as Rod Carter comes off the ground play underway again who's going to get it out of the center this is vital now Carlton to stay in the match they must get a goal quickly Carlton replaced by Bays who had just gone off the ground and the trainers come to have a look at Rod Carter to see what the matter is Carter seemed to, to have trouble with his mobility Matt wins that one comes at 15 meters downfield only to see Williams intercept he gets the hand pass away to Paul Morwood Morwood's kick a short one up towards half forward and the mark taken down there for Carlton by Road in front of Morwood. Dean back to Road again. Road from right centre wing. Carlton going long. They've got to do that to stay in the match. Kernahan at the back. Can't take the grab. It's the man in front. Ah, oh, that was a great mark by Carroll too. Just the same. Positioned himself beautifully. And if it's like normal, he would go long and really get it out of that danger area. He does. Dennis Carroll. Up and over the centre wing position. Two on one out there. Bayes wins out. Gets clear of Dean Bay still with a good turn of speed. Away he goes. Two Carlton players. Oh, they've made a meal of that one. Do it in trouble. Stevie Wright. Could this be the sealer for them? Rod has a snapshot but puts it through for a point. It's a bad miss by the Blues there. Yes, and uh, Stevie Wright, I don't think, would be too happy with himself either. 112 to 92. So once again, the difference is 20 points. And Carlton need four goals to win it.
who had been playing 21 and a half minutes nearly. Bruce Dool to the Bawanga stand wing. Not well delivered, that's a, a rarity today. Mitchell running freely, handball onto Bayes again. Bayes plenty of time to steady, out in front of goal. Kappa out of bounds, that might be. I'll wait on the boundary umpire, yes it is. And Dool to take the, uh, the free kick, he's gone for a pass onto Dean. Can he get around Bolton? Not many can, has to go for a hurried hand pass. Bolton's got Robertson as well, by geez, fast that little fellow. Robertson finally wins out, his kick up towards the centre wing position, trying to find Bradley, couldn't do so. Knocked on by Carroll, picked up by Stevie Wright, playing the game of his life, a short pass, Dorotage in front. Hand pass comes at, uh, back to Shine from Robertson. Oh, Umpire man. has uh, blown the whistle, it's going to be a free kick, it will go to Dorotich, and Dorotich to take the free kick at half back. Into the quarter by just on 22 and a half minutes, still the difference is 20 points. 112 plays 92 in favour of the Swans, and I couldn't see them losing it now. I think we've got about seven minutes to go, at the most. So they need four goals to win it, Carl. Back it goes to Hunter. Hunter's got the ball at centre field. They've got to get it down to that uh, full forward position very quickly. He's gone wide towards the half forward flank. Madden missed that, but there was a bit of luck for you. Kernan at the back of the packet fell into his hands. Not a great kick. Not a great mark taken here by Williams, and he's played a butt for a game here today. Well, he's had plenty of mates. There's been a lot of good swans here. It'd be very hard to pick their best play. You can pick right. Little Mitchell. Bolton's played a great game, and that's a great mark taken out there on the centre wing position. And that's taken by uh, by Carroll. This fellow hasn't played a bad game either. They skip a pop. No, he's a great, <laughs> a great example for the rest of his teammates. There's Carroll now out there towards the centre wing position. The kicker's a long one up there towards the half forward line. Coming across that time is. Uh, Dean and the ball is forced out of bounds, but it's on the Swans uh, half forward line about 60 metres or 70 metres around from that goal. 20 points the difference and that's where they want it. Listen to the crowd going, Sydney, Sydney they're yelling out. They can sense victory here now, Peter. Got the sniff of it, I think. Though. I reckon they got the sniff and listen to that crowd roaring. Sydney and what a feeling it is up here. Nearly 24 minutes gone. 24 minutes gone and the Sydney Siders are in front by 20 points. Ball punched out again by Coleman, back towards the boundary line. It's kicked back now towards the wing, but it's out of bounds. And it'll, it'll be a penalty-free kick to go to right. One of their stars today, and real, they've had plenty of them. The real finals atmosphere here, isn't it? Certainly is. Well, what, 24 possessions to right as he sends the ball back there. They all fly, no one can take the mark. Grabbed by Dean, over to Shine. Shine's kick is back towards the centre of the ground, the pack fly. Two Carlton players sprawling each other. Hawk out with the ball now. Out to Morwood. He goes for a pass. There's plenty of swans out there on the run. And there's little Mitchell. Grabbed by Dill. It could be a 15-metre penalty. Listen to the crowd giving Dill some curry there too. But they're not worrying now, the swan, because they've got this game pretty well wrapped up. Into this quarter now by 24 and a half on the way to 25 minutes. So I'd say about three and a half minutes to go. And Mitchell, he pops this one through, it's all over by the shadow. I still think it's all over, just the same. <laughs> Let's see, he's only about uh, 30 metres out, he's already kicked one goal. There it is on its way. We'll wait on the result, he's missed it. So the scoreboard is uh, Carlton, 12 goals, 20-92 to the Sydney Swans, 17-11, 113. And it's over, what, five seconds over into the time on period of this last quarter. Dean brings the ball back this time for Carlton. He's found Dorotich at the left half-back flank. Gets around Williams. Long kick by Dorotich out to the centre wing position. Hunter, now he had his head taken off there. The umpire will pay him a free kick, but he'll have to go back behind the mark. Tui standing on the mark. Ken Hunter at left half forward. As Lou said, just into the time on period. Hunter's kick high. Trying to find Kernahan at the back. Dersma knocks the ball clear. Here's a race. Can Fraser Murphy soccer it off the ground? Had a fresh air shot, probably couldn't see it for all the streamers down there. And there will be a boundary throw in right next to the behind post. 113 to 92. Can't even see the boundary umpire, he's camouflaged. Boundary throw in, right near the Carlton goal. Kernahan in front over the top of McClure, tries to take it in the snapshot by the skipper, doesn't look bad. Oh, great goal kicked by McClure, what a great captain's effort. Four goals to Mark McClure, 98 to 113, still the Blues won't lie down, 26 minutes in, can they pull it out of the fire? On replay now we see a great effort by McClure, coming over the top, grabbed it, spun and put it straight through the centre, a fine effort by a great captain.
And old Carlton Brains Trust, Steve Goff, Robert Walls, Wes Loft. I'll be hoping that they can get another goal quickly. They've got to get another one quickly. There might be a bit of time on too here. I reckon that uh, they'd go over the 30 minute mark, Bob, wouldn't it? Around about that, I think, Lou. There's probably four or five minutes left to go. Just for that crowd giving the old Sydney chant there. They're right behind this side. Someone said they don't know much about football. You wouldn't think so today by the way they've been yelling out against free kicks when it went against the Swans. It's been a great match. Whoever comes out on top. Nobody gets a decisive tap out there. Possibly went to Madden. The umpire will ball it up. Still in that muddy centre area. Rest of the ground in really good condition after the heavy rain they had in Sydney during the week. Ball scooped out to Motley. Motley's kick is a high one. Up towards Witzel. Alvin. Down to full forward. Off the hands of the pack. Roberts, can he get there first? He'll go along the boundary line with an educated sort of a kick. He does. It's a boundary throw in in Carlton's right forward pocket. 28 and a half minutes gone. Still the Swans in front by 15 points. The ball about 50 metres around from the Carlton goal. Pushed on that time by Coleman. Grabbed uh, by uh, Alvin. A high kick. Punched out again by Carlin, grabbed by Mitchell, it's finally knocked over to Roberts, he's playing it safe there, going around the boundary line, and that's the way to save the game. They're hanging in there, 15 points in front, and it's out of bounds as we approach the 28 minute mark, I'd reckon two or three minutes at the most to go. I think they'll hang in as the ball comes out the bays. A long hand pass over to Danaher. He taps it on, goes after the game, nearly clashed with Bolton. They attack him there, there's two of them. There's, uh, Motley and uh, Bradley and the umpire's going to ball it up right on the point of the square on the Sydney Swans half forward line. 113 plays, 98. We've had a crackerjack game here today. This big crowd of nearly 38,000 have enjoyed every moment. Punched away by Coleman. Down there towards the big little fella right. He's cleared. Grabbed by Dool around the neck. And he'll get the free kick. And the little fella might kick this. He's about 40 metres out from goal directly in front. He's already kicked three. He's played a great game here today. Are your best, Bob? I think Paul Hawk, Pete. Uh, Paul Hawk, Stevie Wright, uh, Barry Mitchell, Greg Williams. Williams. This will make the difference. 21 points if he's successful, and it'll be a victory for sure. There it is on its way, but he's off target. As well. Oh, there's Kepper. Couldn't hold that one. It's finally forced through for one point. So it's 26 points the difference. Hit it. 114 plays, 98. And of course, we're what, uh, just over the 29-minute mark as we wait for the ball to come back into play. Out it goes to that half-back line. Hits the deck. Hunter tries to tap it over. He won't give in there as he goes after it. It's Bolton breaking clear. A long shot at goal. And that is the goal. It's all over by the shouting now. The Sydney Swans have won this. And look at that crowd again. On their feet, cheering their heroes. 18 goals, 12, 120. The Carlton 13, 20, 98. Well, football certainly comes of age in Sydney today. Well, two goals to Bolton and on replay now, we see a lovely goal and uh, Bolton a real dangerous player because he's got that pace and some of his tackling today has been absolutely excellent and he too has set a fine example. You've got a very difficult job picking the best three players, I'll tell you that now Bob. They're having a difficult job getting the balls back too from the well, crowd. Since, lost since another quarter one. time there's been no better player than Martin and Bays. Yeah, well I'll tell you what, doesn't matter who you pick, someone's going to disagree with you. 120 to 98 now. <laughs> 22 points the difference. Knocked down by Kernahan, tried to get it to Bradley. Alvin went past, so too did uh, Williams, but they didn't have the ball. It's going to be a free kick going to Carlton. And it will be taken by Bradley at centre field. Siren due to go, any tick of the clock as Robertson takes the mark. Long kick by Robertson up towards the forward pocket, knocked away by Dersma. And the ball will beat Kernahan and Dersma and also Tui out of bounds. A boundary throw in left forward pocket for the Carlton side. Approaching the 31 minute mark of the final term. I reckon a minute will see it out, Pete. If that. Madden against Coleman. Madden wins it. Corkamilis hits the ball to ground pretty quickly. Johnston fumbles. He hasn't done much of that today. Now there's the siren. The Swans unbeaten after six matches. And they're pretty happy over there in the Swan stronghold. The final scores on seventh big league. The biggest win for the Swans this year. 18-12, 120 to 13-20, 98 before a crowd of 37,873. You want to be a real footballer? I've been a real footballer. You've got to look like a real footballer. You've got to go for the mark.
VFL mark. Go for the mark. Go, Go for the mark. mark. Go for the VFL mark at Maya. Real footy Guernseys, real footy shorts, and real supporters wear jumpers in all club colours and badges. Go for the VFL mark at Maya. And what a tremendous game of football it was. The Sydney chant going up in the third quarter, rallying the side to come back after Carlton. Fought back to within 11 points, and the Blues could have been much closer had it not been for their inaccurate kicking in the third quarter. But in the final term, the smaller running brigade of the Sydney Swans took charge. They were able to steady and go on and record a 22-point victory. And more importantly, maintain their unbeaten run to sit one game clear on top of the Premiership ladder. So a wonderful performance by the Swans team. Main goal kicker once again, Warwick Kappa. He finished the day with six and is now on 29 goals for the season, just one behind Richmond's Michael Roach. So the pressure right on now the Sydney Swans to keep on winning. Next weekend, it's going to be a great game and you can catch it on pro football action if you'd like because the Sydney Swans will tackle Hawthorne and if it's any game you'd like to see, all you've got to do is inquire at your local club or your favourite video store for your pro football action.